He's he's bird-like in there. He's, Prime he's, definition. He's thin. He flies in the air. Uh, he's uh, a hollow bones. He's a murderer. All birds are murderers. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> We're looking for birds. For birds. Where are, Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? We're looking, looking for birds. Looking for birds. Where, Where are, are you? you? Where are you? Looking, looking for, for birds. Looking for birds. Looking Where are you? Where are you? Looking for birds. Looking for birds. Where are? Where are you? Looking for looking birds. For birds. Where are you? Are you? We're looking for birds. Hey, made it to the treehouse. Oh, Whew. it was a long walk, Joe. It was a long walk. You got stuck in traffic there for a second. Yeah, that was that was pretty rough. I'm glad we were able to use the helicopter. That yeah, it was pretty cool. Helicopter was awesome. Um, we got a good show. We got a good show for you tonight. I think y'all should be very excited about this. Um, we're going to be looking at birds as usual. Always looking at birds, and we got a very special guest joining us. There's gonna be like three of us in here, so it's like a jam-packed mini studio, which is my living room, which is super tiny. Um, but we're, it's it's going to be awesome. We got we also since the last episode, we had all twelve viewers got a like our budget now after getting the AdSense on that. We have a helicopter Thank that we're going to be using for this episode. So. Thanks for tuning in, all, all 12 of you. And I hope you're here again. Hope you're here like today. Today. Because this one you don't want to miss. Last one, if you stuck around for the last one, that was that was pretty good, but that was our first one. This yeah. one, we got the formula worked out now. We're pulling the guns out. Pulling the guns. And the special guests, I don't want to keep you waiting in suspense. You probably saw it in the description of this anyways. But we have Dr. Don Jolly, birdologist, he is going to be here to explain bird, like we've been calling him all kinds of names, and he's going to tell us, you know, why they're called these names, all kinds of stuff. He's got a presentation planned. It is going to be very informative and fun for the whole family. And uh, I just, you know, our guest this evening on Bird Cave needs no introduction. You know him from classic films such as Cry for Help, <coughs> Boner Max, Laser Force, Arthur Bormill's Quest for Sandwiches, yeah. Rainbow Pals, I Was First, I Do, Pondo Huevo, Gone Bad, Finding Waldo, Hipster Bullshit, and many other works. He's the developer and scientist behind the Full Gym 24X Pro 100 and 24X Pro. You may have read many of his published articles. You may have quested in some of his D&D campaigns. He's editor-in-chief of Encyclopedia.Zone. He's worked with Adult Swim, he writes, he directs, he acts. He used to live with Sam Hyde. He does science, he studied the occult and religious studies. And now he's going to practice law. He's a jack of all trades and a master of all trades. But before he gets caught up in the law school, we have him here in the flesh to give you the insights on ever-growing wealth and his ever-growing wealth of knowledge on birds and other winged animals. Let me introduce to you my pal and longtime fellow filmmaker up in the treehouse there hiding this whole time, Don motherfucking Jolly. Dr. Dr. Don, Don Jolly. Come on down. Jolly. Come on down. Ah, oh, that treehouse is wonderful. I'll, I'll go up there. Yeah. Yeah, you should go to the treehouse. The uh, treehouse is fantastic. I, you know, I thank you so much for letting me use it up there. You got the water bed. That's very rare in a birding, uh, a birding environment. Yeah. Even as a professional birdologist, I've very rarely seen an observation post uh, with two water beds. Welcome back. And a plant fish. Yeah. Um, good to have you on the show. One second, I need it. I will say that it's it triple. triple. It's all when, once you get to viewers. Once you get to fifteen viewers, what's the next step? I mean, where, where can you go from there? Turn into a scout. Yes. I don't know. Is what's it the next place? I don't know. I mean, it's it's probably going to be the it's probably going to be the PlayStation 
Uh, the PlayStation Vert. Vert. Uh, PlayStation yeah. Flamingo, yeah. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. that's. That's the new Vert. Yeah. That's what Sony just dropped, actually. And it's true, the, mm -hmm. the yeah. Sony Flamingo, that is just the code name right now, but. Yeah, and, and thank you for that wonderful introduction, Nathan. Uh, yeah. But I do think, you know, for all viewers at home, uh, I do want to note that, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I have done a lot of things in my life, but throughout it all, I've been dedicated to the field of uh, birdology and birdography, but I only have a degree in birdology. I'm working on the degree in birdography. So uh, let, let's explain, like, you know, what that is. Some people don't. Right. Yeah, they're not right. going to get it. Yeah, it's true. Uh, so birdology is the academic discipline that deals with the philosophy of birdness. Uh, you might hear some people, you know, if you were watching uh, National Geographic, Right. For instance, or zoo books, or zoo books. Yeah. If you were reading a zoo book, right, you might hear about these people called ornithologists. Yeah. Now, that, yeah, that's what I thought. That's, that, that's junk science. Yeah. That's not real. Ornithology is not real. You got to deal with birdology, which comes out of the hardest academic discipline that there is, which is sociology. Right. So basically, what you do as a birdologist is you work to problem the problem discursive framework by which an individual culture or cultures defines burdens. Oh, okay, yeah. so it's a lot more than just orn, or 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 not or. <laughs> I don't even say the word. Yes. I don't even. It, yeah, it, honestly, it, my doctor told me I shouldn't even. It doesn't make sense. I, I shouldn't even talk about those people. We don't see them in the treehouse. I I didn't even hear what he said. To Why? Be honest. Why wouldn't they say birdologists? Like you don't say, "Oh, look at those ornoths out there." Yeah, there's ornoths at the ornoth feeder. Well, it's because the the, the the ornithologists they come out of the natural sciences, and it's like that's fine. I understand that they like to measure bones or whatever, or like look at a feather. Yeah. But as a birdologist, I give papers. I pulled down a big salary from a large university. It's a private university in the public interest. It charges $100,000 of tuition per semester. We have two mm -hmm. gyms. People come into my class, I pass all of them. Why? That's for you to find out. Mm -hmm. As a birdologist and an amateur birdologist, I'm out there on the cutting edge. Ornithologists are interested in what birds are. I'm interested in what birds. Are. Oh, you see, yeah. you see, yeah. you see the difference here. You got to look in like the numbers. You got it. It's, yeah. it's, it's we're, we're dealing with an amorphous. We call it a problem curve. because when you're looking at, at reality. You might look over there, like see over there, you see that, that uh, what would you call that? Oh, that's a three bird feeders. I see three birds. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's th there's three birds right there. Three birds. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, are the birds at the feeders or? What, what is, what is a bird? <clears throat> a bird is, it's, it's hanging in the air. Yeah. It's, it seems to be flying. Might say it's hanging from a string. How, yeah. how do birds get up there? How does it, like a pigeon, we all agree a pigeon's a bird. How does right. a pigeon get up there? Does it have a string? We don't know. Yeah. It could. Right, right. Absolutely. See, what you just said I like. Yeah. I feel, on the other hand, an ortho, what, ortho what? Yeah. I, I don't know, orthodontist. Yeah, the orthodontist. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. you know, those are the kind of people I'm not going to give the password to my Barbie password journal. Yeah, you don't. I mean, the, one of the big problems with the natural sciences is if you give them the password to your Barbie password journal, yeah. they're, they're going to publish it. They're going to take credit. They're going to take, take credit. And it's just like, whatever. Yeah. You're out there acting all wacky, and we don't want your nonsense. It's yeah. just, it's, there's, there's a very prominent birdologist named uh, Violent J. Violent he J, said, yeah. I don't want to talk to a scientist. Hmm. Yeah. Why? Because those motherfuckers are lying. Yeah. yeah. And they're getting me pissed, personally. Me, yeah, personally, true. I get pissed. Yeah. Whereas, you know, I'm not lying. I'm just exploring a desacralized problem zone, problem curve, uh, in which we can place a variety of dependent lexical truths 
suspended in a solution of overall birdness. Right. And that's what you do as a birdologist all day. Yeah. So, a great song uh, once said, the bird is the word. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Okay. Well, you see, that, that actually, so this is the trash man. And as you know, the Trashmen were all uh, very intense biblical scholars. Mm -hmm. Sure. In the beginning was the Word. Mm -hmm. That's that's the the See, beginning. Yeah. You're taking it out of context, though, because originally, like, if you read the whole, is he said, you know, if you take all of that into consideration. Uh -huh. It's the bird is word has a whole nother meaning. It's true. It's true. It's absolutely true. And I'm sorry for being reductive. Yeah. But the the it's the beginning of uh, of the of the Bible is in the beginning was the word. Mm -hmm. So if bird is the word, yeah. The beginning of all things is bird. Actually, more technically, the beginning of all things is. A papa, a mau mau, papa, mau mau mau, papa, mau mau, papa, mau mau mau, papa, bird, bird cave, last call, bro. You want your bird cave, last call. Whoa, did you hear that? Was that it? Did you hear that call? It sounded like a bird, but I think that's Joe. Joe up there, do the. Wow. Bird cave, last call. Bird cave, last call. Yes. See that? You see Joe? I see a bird. See, it's yeah. not even a question. You I see, see a bird. Yeah. All that round rock cock swallow that's mm -hmm. in my DNA. He's got a lot of... I mean, that's what I heard. I was like, round rock cock swallow. Yeah. You only hear that cry in the greater round rock yeah. area. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is true. Like, uh, I see it happen a lot. You know, the sky is black at the point. Sun's down. All those lights are on. You see all those round rock cock swallows at the round rock outlet mall. Mm-hmm. Preferably got by the Nike store yeah. next to the New Balance store. Whoa, right. yeah. whoa! We have some action whoa, here. Whoa, look at that! If you want to look at this, we—it was pretty empty, but we got. What are these? I believe these are Eurasian murder sparrows. Eurasian murder sparrows. They are called murder sparrows because under no this is rare for birds. Under no circumstances will this bird commit murder. Right. This bird right. will wait to kill until the state gives it absolute permission in writing yeah. to do so, which is very rare. A pigeon, a parakeet, yeah. they will end your life. They, they, they don't think anything about it. They're sociopaths. Yeah, yeah. But these, these guys will never commit murder. Right. They do, however, commit a variety of financial crimes. Yeah. That's how they support themselves. No, uh, yeah. I don't see them, you know, working like a small-time pizza gig. Yeah, no. it's true. That's what I do. As you work at a pizza pizza place, yeah. Do they put bird on the pizza? No, no, they don't. Unfortunately, they should. They should. But wouldn't that be cannibalism for me? I yeah. guess I, it would. Yeah. But you know, this th these guys also will commit cannibalism as long as they have permission to kill. I know. It's true. Joe, you should probably uh, you should probably you know pick the helicopter out for a spin. Sure. Mm -hmm. Get yeah. get a better closer look at these birds real quick. I All would right. appreciate that. Yeah. Sounds good. Man, you hear that? I don't know if you can hear us. It's really loud. It's it really loud right now. Joe's flying really right by the birds, scaring the birds away. Oh no! Maybe this isn't the best way to look at birds. It's no. probably it's dangerous and, and yeah. That wait. Can you hear me? Can you guys how hear me right now? How do you it like this? I don't know. I don't know how to drive this. I actually do not have my license. Whoa. That was, that, was, that was very impressive for someone who's not licensed. Of course, in the great state of Texas, uh, you do not need a license to fly a helicopter. That's true. <laughs> if you can afford it, you or can fly it. A moped. Yeah. Or a moped. Yeah. Is that actually true? I think so, yeah. That's pretty dope. As long as it goes under like 60. Yeah, it's got to be under 60. Yeah. They make you get a license in New York for the mopeds. All the delivery guys have to get licensed. Uh, uh, many of like the delivery guys, as a consequence, are birds who can travel under their own locomotion. That's true. I mean, and I heard about that. A lot of people these days, you know, actual people, uh, when I say actual people, they are no bird at all. Actually, oh, okay. yeah, zero bird. Not none, birds? None bird. Uh, they're not yeah. part bird at all. Uh, so it's weird. This is why I believe in aliens. Okay. We can get to a different point later yeah. about that. But 
Uh, a lot of people are like, oh man, I wish I could fly, I'm stuck in traffic. You know, this gazelle just ran into a mountain lion and we're stuck. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, no, you know what? I'm part bird. I can get around that. Mm -hmm. Maneuvering quick, easy. See, this, That's why I get jobs all the time. This yeah. is the this is the essence of birdness. Is you're quick. You're maneuverable. Your bones are hollow. Yeah. You don't have, you, when, you, you don't, you don't piss or shit. You piss and shit. It's the same thing, yeah. same hole, in and out, yeah. all easy. It's not, a, it's not a chamber of secrets. No. 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 It's all out on the table. It's yeah. all, birds are efficient, they are light, they can fly, uh, except when they can't. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's, uh, those are many of the features that birds may or may not have within a particular discursive uh, framework. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so there's actually, uh, you heard about the flightless flying dove. It's actually a flightless bird that flies. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's insane. That is crazy. I mean, that's another thing is birds are uh, hypocrites. Yeah. They say one thing, they do another. They say, oh, I can't fly. The ostrich, famously, I can't fly. I can't fly. They don't like to, but they can. They yeah. can. They can. I mean, we've all played Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What happens in there? You get on an ostrich, you're flying. It's flying. You just got to gotta believe that you can fly. Mm-hmm. I still That's, believe. Yeah. I believe a lot. All you out there watching, I believe. Yeah. I seriously believe a lot. Like so much. I believe it all. Everything you can think about right now, I probably believe that. So all these deceptive birds, you need to calm down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm over here yeah. just waiting to tag and bag the ones I don't know. Mm-hmm. You just get out in the helicopter. Exactly. Yeah. Find the find the unknown birds. They're all out there. I still believe it. Mm -hmm. I believe. That's very brave of you. This is a difficult era to believe in. Yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people out there they have they don't believe. I'm walking. Yeah, walking to work. You know, walking anywhere, mm -hmm. believing as much as I can. Yeah. And somebody just comes up and robs me of my belief by not believing. That's awful. Yeah, yeah I know. And it that's sucks. Terrible. I go that's home, terrible. I cry a little bit. Mm -hmm. How could you like, not? How could you not? How could you not? I watch like Miranda Cosgrove best clips, mm -hmm. like compilations. And Dude, 15 is great. Yeah. What is what, what's uh, Miranda Cosgrove best clips? I don't I don't know about this. Is this is this the latest hit movie from director Martin Scorsese? Uh, that's what they're working on right now. That's yeah. what they're working on right now. <clears throat> it's not out, but I've seen I've seen some. Rough edits. Okay, so, excellent. Yeah. Well, it has to do a lot with Miranda Cosgrove, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. She was iCarly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, as a birdologist, I've watched <coughs> hours and hours of iCarly. You get a lot of, like, you know, experience. You can cut corners becoming a birdologist if you just watch, like, at least three, three or four seasons-ish mm -hmm. of iCarly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it gets you to a lot of the philosophical places you need to get uh, faster. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a it's a great show. I'm on Miranda Cosgrove clips, but what got me to where I am today is just skipping to all the Gibby parts, and mm -hmm. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't need to see any more than that. You don't know, exactly. well, see you're a man of discernment. Yeah. That's why you have so much belief. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I believe what Gibby does is to be true. Mm -hmm. He's not trying to lie. He's not putting up a facade. He, he's not. He's not acting like some of these birds that you see out there. Right. They're they're just being phony. Yeah. You see, being fake. For for instance, like look at the look at the feeders. Look at the feeders right now. And I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, there's no there's no birds. Yeah. There's at least two birds. But look at them. They're yeah. they're they're lying. Yeah. Yeah. They're lying know. about it. Well, so I heard a story that like a group of birds broke into an FBI building that was actually making invisible cloaks at the time. Mm -hmm. Stole all of them. Stole all. Of them. Stole all. Of them. That's enough to, you know. What, pass is, what, is, what is invisibility other than like a lie yeah. to the to eyesight? You're just lying to yeah. the people watching. Yeah. Those birds out there, not trustworthy. Not at all. Not at all. Can't yeah. trust them. It, I wouldn't say it pisses me off to, so much that I hate it. Well, it's their nature. I don't like to hate things, especially mm -hmm. birds. Yeah, you can. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. They can get away with murder. I don't care. Yeah, and they do, frequently. 
but yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen that film, The Birds? Mm-hmm. It was a documentary. It was about a series of birds. Do you remember that? Um, do you remember that show? What was it called? I think it only ran for like one episode. It was like Rainbow Pals. Oh, you remember, I remember, remember, remember yeah. Rainbow Pals. Yeah. I know the jingle actually. I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rainbow, Rainbow, Rainbow Pals. Yeah, Rainbow, that one. Rainbow yeah. Pals. Something, something, and rainbows, rainbows and magic. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. It's, uh, that's, we might get like flagged for copyright, even though yeah, we made well, that. sweet, sweet memories of childhood. You yeah. know, yeah. That's that's it takes you back to better times. I mean, you guys did a really good deed that day. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah, you remember? I, I I was just thinking about it because of birds, and we're looking at birds and stuff. And are there any birds out there? Are we missing any birds? No. No. Um, well, well, while it's slow, let's uh. Cut to the, I'm just going to show a clip of Rainbow Pals. There okay. was a yeah. There's, I there's believe a, it. There was a bird episode. There was a part. Yeah, it was the one episode they made. They uh-huh. teach you how to be a bird, and I think we could all learn a lot from that. This so, is this is a famous clip for yeah. birdographers, especially. Yeah, they still use this. They cool. still use this. Go yeah, and watch this one. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go to that clip. Do they really throw the trash over there? They sure do, Michael. Just look at all those pretty birds. <clears throat> Boy, I wish I was a bird. Well, with this fun activity, you at home and you can be a bird. You can be anything you want to be. That's great. All you have to do is first, find a place where parents keep trash. Second, climb inside and peck around. Third, if anybody comes up and tells you to stop, say, and run away. Man, that was a bad activity. Yeah, that was something, right? Like that was a good episode. That was, that was yeah. yeah. That I was mean, the only episode. It got shut down, I think, for littering. Cause I don't know. I think the whole plot was getting rid of a mattress that a cat peed on. Yeah, and they but, just dumped it in an alley. Yeah. Which again, last episode we talked about how much we hate cats. Yeah. And screw them. I swear, you scare these birds away today. Oh, coming geez. out for blood. Yeah. That's when a, when a cat scares a bird. Kill the cat. Yeah. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Take its head, twist it off with a diet coke. <laughs> yeah. I want to see that. I want to see that little guy fizz. I want to see him fizz. Yeah, that's what I want. Let's see where the rabies are. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fuck with cats. Fuck with birds and find out. Yeah. 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 Because because I'm just as a birdologist, I'm just trying to look at them. I just want to look at birds. Yeah. It's hard enough because birds is are always lying and being hypocrites. Yeah. Uh, I just. I don't get it when somebody comes up to me and they're like, oh my god, there's a blue jay in my backyard. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. What are you saying, a blue jay in your backyard? That's clearly a John Wilkes Nightingale. Yeah. 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 Well, well, people, they don't know. They don't know. Most people, like the normies, they don't They don't know. They're not They're not posting on r slash pornography. No, they're posting on MySpace. Yeah, they're posting on MySpace. They're posting on Friendster. They're posting on Friends Connect. Like Angie's List. Angie's List, very popular. Kelly Blue Books. Kelly Blue Books. Uh, the uh, the the Craigslist Personals. Yeah. Uh, Craigslist Bird Personals. <laughs> That's where I met my ex-wife, actually. Really, yeah. Craigslist Bird Personals. Yeah. See, that, Craig, I don't know if you got at home. If you don't use Craigslist Bird Personals, it's when you see an interesting bird. You post on Craigslist so that people in your local area can come see the bird. Yeah. Yeah. I, I look at that. I, I, I check it every, I mean, you know, I actually should probably check it right now. I'm actually uh, making an app right now. Okay. Because Tinder's so popular right now. Yeah. Bird people meet. They actually oh. shut, they shut down the Craigslist one because they're worried about bird trafficking and stuff. So. Yeah, it's yeah. true. There was a little like, bit of, there was, when they, when they found that uh, squab ring, that Governor Greg Abbott here in Texas was deeply involved in. Yeah, yeah. He was trading. Uh, he said it's okay because with the images that they found him in possession of, he was like, I pretend that I'm the egg. Yeah. And that makes it okay. Right. Right. But I don't believe that, personally. It's very deceiving. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, bird-like, really. Yeah. But, you know what? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that all, like, stirred up the whole, like, millet gate. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the Millet Gate. Millet oh my God! Are we gonna talk? Are we gonna do? Are we gonna, are we gonna, are we gonna talk about Millet Gate? We don't have to yeah. talk about Millet Gate. That might get a little political. Yeah. I don't know. Well, before we get into Millet Gate, Joe, do you think you could uh, uh, give us like maybe just like a quick ride in the helicopter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, I'd like, I'd like to go out. Okay. Let's go. All right, let's let's do this. Do you want? You want to go by the Jenga Tower, maybe or something? Yeah. The Jenga Tower usually has a good little batch of these amigos, so. Go. No, oh, this is. Good. Why are we going backwards? There we go. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes you, like it reverses a lot, and then you get traction. It's kind of like being a bird. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is like a lot of fun, dude. No, I know. Hey, uh, yeah. There's cold ones back there. I see that you just cracked one right on. I just <laughs> cracked it. I just <laughs> cracked a cold one. Yeah, this actually, is, uh, uh, you got Dude, yeah, drinking and flying. Woo. They're also legal in Texas. It is, it is. Like other states, they don't let you drink and fly, but. That's true. Oh, did y'all see that uh, mongoose dough ring? Yeah, over there? We, we did see that. They used to soaring majestically. Oh, for sure. Across the Brazos yeah. River Valley. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's, looks like he's going whoa. way up, 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 up. Whoa, up. Whoa. He's, he's in space. Yeah. He's, he died in space. Put it in the park real quick. Yeah. Let's get that money. Jeez. Don't drink my hat. I nearly flew off like, I need to shut this window. All right. Yeah, I got to hold that on. Yeah, so it's crazy. You can put it in park while yeah. you're still in the air. Oh, that's dope. Dude, I don't think it's working, dude. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 Oh, oh okay. okay, we're back. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. Hey, uh, you want Jeez. some jack in the box or something? Yeah, I do. Yeah, can, we, can we land on the roof? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's, sound. let's go land on the roof. I want one of those, uh, I want the tacos. The deep fried. Alright. There we go. There's yeah. the box. That's Get jack in the box. This jack in the box looks kind of crappy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I mean, it doesn't look like there's like a water bed. No. I mean, it's 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 more like a shack. No PS it's, it's, triple. The, no PS triple. You got to get the PS triple though. Yeah. That's the best one. <laughs> uh, that's the latest PlayStation. For sure. Yeah. It definitely. I have a tattoo of it on my back, actually. Yeah. I have. I I also have a. Uh, you can't see it, but I have a uh, face tattoo under my beard. It's just the logo. It says PS on one cheek, triple on the other. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's how you know you mean business. It's yeah. true. That's actually, that got me my first big university job. They walked in, they saw the tattoo, they just said, all right, what are, what are your demands? Because obviously we'll do anything you want to get your job at this university. Yeah. Ten, tenure track. Tenure, tenure track. Immediately. You know? Absolutely. I have a penthouse on Broadway. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Rainbow Pals, um... Like, I noticed you were in that. You've been in a couple of movies, haven't you? Or uh, I don't think I've been in any, any uh, I don't think I've been in any movies. Uh, that might be my brother. Oh. Uh, his, it's pronounced the same, but his name is actually uh, spelled D-A-U-G-H-W-N. <laughs> That's Don Jolly. Yeah. He's, he's been in movies. I'm a birdologist. Okay. I'm a birdologist, yeah. Well, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at some of what what you're. Yeah, uh, he's he's been in some wonderful stuff. Yeah, yeah, let's bring that up. Welcome back to Encyclopedia.zone. My name is Dr. Don Jolly. I am the editor in chief of Encyclopedia.zone, the internet's premier home for literary shit posting. God damn it, Falcon! What the fuck happened out there today? It's the most radical squad ever designed. Laser Force. It's the deadliest game ever played. The Connect Four game between man and laser. You're treated like a candy land! Now, I get a lot of fan mail, most of it asking for my phone number or home address, and I'm afraid that I can't get that out because I am a registered sex offender in 57 states. 57 states? <laughs> the first record like his hat. for Sandwich was undertaken by the Earl of Sandwich in 1598. He traveled in a massive submarine which could also fly. He called it the Subway. This gunfire is daydreams. Do you understand? That one was good. Yeah, that's that's a great film. 
I believe that's called uh, that over there. That's Dr. Emil Fulton. I believe Fulton. that's uh, that from this called Kim Doom. Keep doing, Curtis. Uh, How is right. UFC going? Oh, it's going great. That is fantastic. I invented the full gym way back in 1972. Uh. You know, I used to sell these puppies, well, not the 24X Pro 100, but the first full gym, the just the full gym. Wow. That's, this is the, one of the first comic book Where are you headed? Uh, yeah. Medieval England, um, Hollywood, or the base state. I was headed line, like, oh, oh my god. If you're a lucky day, buddy, I'm headed days, to the Renaissance. That's days. right by Medieval England. Hop in. I don't really know what I'm doing in front of the camera. I'm just extremely bored. I like his shirt. Uh, in about three days. Yeah, background is kind of on So that yeah. building was actually really, built right by a team of right Misonimis. Really? But I just yeah. felt like wow. filming something. Yeah. Just Bird construction is very common well, it sounds silly uh, to say in this, but the state of Texas uh, architecture. Something. This is because they, they work cheap. They yeah. literally work for bird feet. Okay. Yeah. It's true. And was that a play on words? Yeah, they work cheap. Yeah, they work yeah. cheap. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cheap. cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's some good movies. It's, it's almost, almost like... There's it. some good movies, yeah. Just, just check them out. They're on YouTube. Yeah. 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 Look, up, check them out. look them all up. Yeah. Yeah. Just look up... Uh, if I do crack L... These are for Actually, crack L, but you can flag all of them. And yeah. Check the sound out of that, them. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's still there, but you got to just imagine what yeah, the sounds are. Yeah, you the imagination. Uh, it's actually better than you yeah. imagine. We were just kind of actually, like, like, you know, we trying to go with a it. a silent film, but we made the bold choice of making a dialogue-based silent film with no intertitles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was... It's a, it happens, like, we didn't want to really. be too on the nose and make it, like, black and white. No, with what? Like, we like, we like, got to have it fresh. It's just a movie because mm -hmm. you can't hear anything. You can't hear anything. It's Why would you want to hear it? I went to go see the the new uh, Marvel film. Yeah. Uh, what do you? I, I put my earplugs in first thing. You don't yeah, want to hear yeah. it. You don't want to hear it. No. What are you going to do? Whoa! Did you what was see that? that? What was that? It was an extremely small bird. Oh man. That was uh, the micro lark, the Central Texas micro lark. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it came and it went. It, those are just really hard to see. There, yeah, there he is. Look at him. Wow. Whoa. Was that the micro lark? Yeah, yeah, it was. was. I mean, if you keep your eyes on it, he's still. Whoa. He's like. He's flipping around. What is that? I think this is the second time I've ever seen a micro lark in like the 17 years we've been. It's extremely rare to see a Central Texas micro lark. First Whoa. of all, they're only in Central Texas, and they're so they're. The thing about the micro lark. It has this weird delusion. It thinks it's big, but it's so small. Yeah. It's small. <laughs> it's really small. I've probably had these like feeding here for a while, and I just haven't seen them. It's it's I, it's true. They're just they're tiny. They're literally the size of of one pea. Yeah. One pea. I have but not they think seen them. The size of like they they think they're Kong like, or Zilla. Yeah. They they think they're they're sixty feet around. They think that they're nobody's bigger than that. Take, take yeah, a, I take gotta, a swing I with that a, thing. Oh yeah, look at that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not seeing it. I think he's flitted away yeah. into the upper atmosphere. Jeez. Wow. That was a like. We should submit this somewhere probably. I mean, we like, we yeah, the, first. The, the the New York Institute of Biography is definitely going to want a copy. Yeah. I mean, just to authenticate it. Maybe we just get a reboot of Zoo Books. Yeah. At that point, I I didn't want to say anything, but I have been working with the Zoo Books team. We're we're talking about a revival. Uh, Zoo Books Reloaded. Oh uh, shit! It's gonna be it's gonna be a new thing. The Tiger isn't totally signed on yet. Okay. That's the because if we can't get the Tiger poster, we're not gonna do it. It's just yeah. not. We're gonna not happen. gonna do it if we no. can't get the Tiger. Poster. But if Tiger signs, I mean, mm -hmm. I smell a good '90s bar crawl. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, at the very least. Yeah. I think we're going to be teaching people about all kinds. And the other thing that's interesting is uh, because so many animals have gone extinct since the '90s, uh, there's only going to be three zoo books in the new series. Yeah, because okay. there's only three animals. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm laughing at this. Uh, yeah, all the animals are dead. It, it, that was more of a sadistic laugh. Yeah, that, that was. was, that was I mean, it actually yeah. kind of. <laughs> 
I scared mean, the shit out of me, honestly. It does explain some things because I noticed that you have a bunch of non-biodegradable plastic piled up around yeah. in the in the treehouse there. I mean, you've got that barrel of oil that you just put a spike in so that it's draining into the forest floor. Yeah, I don't even like drinking it like a pre sun. Yeah, see, I don't even drink beverages. I just like I have a lot of straws. Just I like to throw like ten or fifteen into the ocean every now and then. But well, that, I do that like see, plastic ones are like really like tough, like non biodegradable. When, when I, because obviously as a biodegradable shit out of here. <laughs> yeah, biodegradable. <laughs> Seriously, I don't want a paper straw. What? Yeah. They Stupid. have like holes in the sides of them every time, I'm like just sucking air, and it's like barely any coke. You know, like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this makes like, me feel like my teeth are doing homework. Whoa, whoa. whoa. You see that? There's some action. There's there some action. Oh, there we go. Oh, there is we is go. that a round rock cock swallow or is that something else? That. Most definitely, I'm 100 percent sure. That's I'm gonna say mine. That's an official round rock cock swallow. Wow! I even want to say. I talk. mean, I, I know Joe is half round rock cock swallow, but seeing the full blooded article, that is, that's a big moment for me. Yeah, I mean, speaking of big, is that chunk level three? It might be, but I don't have that. <laughs> it might be chunk level two. It's just not quite ready. Yeah. I I'm thinking this is a solid two. Yeah. I mean, but. Once again, this depends on the discursive framework by which you want to approach chonk. Yeah. If an ancient Roman were to see that, he oh. would say, that's a full-on chonky boy. Yeah. But we are, we're modern Americans. What does it mean for us? Nobody knows. It's yeah. unclear. We have two, two at the moment. Round rock cock swallows. We could ask them to build a small home. Yeah. We could. But we would have to take the helicopter out. There, just that. So, what, what y'all see there, it's a very high elevation. Yeah. Uh, my house is like 500 feet off the ground. We call it the half mile high. Mm-hmm. Club. It's like forced perspective when you see the ground down there. It's weird. But I, I have a really large driveway, so it makes it look like a normal size. That's a that's a that's a forest. That's not yeah. grass. That's a forest. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You gotta understand that red bowl. Yeah. That the the. Uh, Ancient peoples worshipped it as a god. It's so huge. It's the size that the micro lark thinks it is. Yeah. 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 You know, a lot of action. I was going to suggest cutting to the presentation, but let's wait until these birds I th- actually I think we got we got. I think we could close out. Where it can go. Yeah. We can cl- might close out with the presentation. Yeah. Yeah. Just like after we get, it's like it's like I think it's you know it's a five o'clock bird rush hour for food right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's, not, he's just like spinning it for no reason there. Well, the round rock uh, cock swallow is known for its aggressive displays. Like, basically, it does that when it wants to swallow cock. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's not necessarily mating. It's... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know it. There's no reproductive value. There's no reproductive just, value. In fact, it's like anti-reproductive value, yeah. but... Uh, he's just, they, they usually, they like to spin, Yeah. they like to flap. Well, yeah. So when I'm taking a shower, a lot of what I do, mm-hmm. spinning and flapping. Spinning and flapping, yeah. yeah. Well, that's another good way to get clean. Oh, uh, yeah. True. I mean, it really does, like, get in the areas you want it to. Wow, oh, they're, they're really going for it. Now, see, you could probably build a neighborhood with that number. It's true. You could take a neighborhood that's fallen on hard times. You resettled the round rock cock swallows in it. Uh, property values will start to rise. Uh, a better class of bird will move in. Yeah, yeah. That's you could you could revitalize uh, a whole a whole uh, whole neighborhood with this. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Actually, uh, a wow. lot of whoa. This is like a full house on the feeders. This is fun. This is the most amazing thing. Uh, I, I can't believe I'm seeing this. I really can't. Look at him. They're spinning. On he's scared. He's he's. They're they're hiding. They're f- spinning. They're flapping. They're exhibiting classic round rock cock swallow behavior. Yeah. Look. What is he yeah. on? That is insane. And he's like doing the butt dance. The butt dance. So butt this is what dance, we were talking yeah. about last time. Yeah. Is that so? This is what they do before they mate. Ah. They get really like. Dosed up, just yeah. trash messed up on millet. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then they do the butt dance, and then they go find a nice hole and just swallow cock. 
it's true. I mean, it's I mean, really who doesn't? Really? Yeah. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who does not? Who does not do that? This Whoever sure does, does not do that is not a bird. Yeah. Everybody that does do that, are they a bird? I don't know. Look at his throat. He's like full of round round cup swallowing. Yeah. That is a healthy throat developed by years of swallowing cup. <laughs> like that is just. I, that might be the most swallowed cock neck I've ever seen. It's, it's I, the development of it, the muscularity. I can't even give it a chomp rating. I just passed the scale of chomp. I, like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but as... It's like weighing the world on a scale. Yeah. You can't. I, I'm sorry, but weighing the world on a scale is actually exactly what I do as a biologist. So oh, I'm say okay. That's a level five chomp neck. The neck specifically. <laughs> the neck okay. specifically. Uh, I, I would maybe I'm take, wrong. I would maybe need to take wrong. a closer look. I might be wrong. I don't know. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, you know, Nathan. Nathan, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was completely wrong. Right. Uh, There's certain indications. Yeah. I actually can't. I, I can't. I can't do it. Okay. It's outside of my... I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, it seems... I couldn't even rate that. There's what the another. Hell is that? What That's is that? That's not one of them. Is that a minstrel That's red a, bean? That could be a minstrel red bean, I oh, think. Oh, it needs to, if it, it turns the feet. Oh, right. that is a minstrel red bean. Absolutely. Look at its uh, distinctive uh, beanish beak. Yeah. Wet beanish beak. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're known for very wet beaks. And Excessively wet. It's weird because they, sh like, Normally, I don't know. They're not porous. It's not skin. But yeah. It's like a, like a cat's nose or a dog's nose or something. Right. It's like a little basketball. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a little. It's, it's like the nub of a, on a laptop that you have instead of a mouse. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have like in the center of your keyboard. Yeah. Uh, oh, or like on a new 3DS, like you have the new 3DS second joystick that's just that shitty nub. Oh, it's just a shitty nub. Yeah, yeah it's not even a real joystick. It's I, a I tiny was, circle. This is a digression, but I was so surprised at that E3 when Miyamoto came out. It was like, instead of analog stick, we have a shitty nub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or he said it, I think, in Japanese, and then the guy yeah. was just like, instead of analog stick, <laughs> we have a shitty nub <laughs> over his <laughs> over his voice. <laughs> She Instead of an analog stick, we mom. have a shitty nub. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's how... <laughs> I don't know why we're laughing, because this is just something that literally happened at E3. It was yeah. surprising. Yeah. And don't get us wrong. Like, we can make these jokes. It is totally fine. Mm -hmm. Because, a little known fact, me and this guy... We're Japanese one together, Japanese and I have one. the textbook. Yeah, kimono. Kimono. Actually, yeah, the yeah, textbook yeah. we right used. This is you can check this out. It's got Terry Coon in it. It's, it's got Terry Coon. Cool yeah. comics and stuff. I don't want to get us like flagged for copyright, but it's you know they will definitely six dollars for copyright on like a thrifty bookstore uh, online. I like thrift books or something. It's like three, four dollars and like two dollars in shipping. Personally, I like to, when, when I'm buying used books, and I just want to put a little plug in there, I always go to Monster Adult Triple X. Uh, That's my favorite yeah. used bookstore. Yeah. Yeah, I actually uh, got a really interesting manga of a shaggy dog from there. Mm, right. Yeah. yeah. Like the Tim Allen. The Tim Allen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the Tim yeah. Allen. They turned it into a manga. Yeah. Uh, That's, it's so interesting. Yeah. No. Actually, in Japan, the shaggy dog is, is uh, it's a bigger hit than it was here. And you know how big of a hit it is. Yeah. James Cameron's been working on Shaggy Dog 2, 3, and 4 all at the same time. Did she do that? No, they do. It's and coming then, out this December. But it should be with birds. Oh, that would be great. The Shaggy Bird. The Shaggy the Bird. The Feathery Bird. The Featheriest Bird. The Featheriest yeah. Bird. <laughs> Welcome back to Encyclopedia. Uh, the Featheriest Bird. Rays on millet. Those round rock cock swallows are like seconds away from going off on an adventure of it's swallowing true. more cock. Yeah. They like to stock up on millet to give them the energy that they're going to need for a night of unrepentant cock thirst. 
<laughs> um, it's typical of their behavior pattern. I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> that's just bird behavior. That's no, how it works. I, I, I understand, but like sometimes, you know, just like I haven't quite gotten the funnies out. It's true. I mean, one of the things is like when you look at the beauty of nature, it's funny often. It is. It, it's just you're so moved. It's just naturally funny. You have to laugh. One one question I get quite a lot from people online that well, like tons of fan mail, like snail mail and emails and, and people showing up to your door. Don't do that. DMs and stuff. Don't, don't do stop that. showing up at his no. door. You show up at his door. No, you're gonna fuck around and find out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going down. Yeah, but we'll pop so. seven trunks. <clears throat> yeah. Pop, you don't want to see a helicopter pop its trunk. But yeah. the main question I always get from people is what type of bird seeder, because I got a, um, it was like a painted cuntling or something the other day. Yeah. And, and someone was like, how, how did you get that at your feeder? Like I've been painted. searching, that people have been like searching for them. They, they go on hunts and just to see them and they like listen for the call. I've, I've heard this online and People are like, what did you do? Because I had one at the feeder the other day. Like, there's pictures, of proof of it. I'll put it on the page. But it's, they're really pretty. They got blue head and like an iridescent, weird, like green and red body. Uh, they're tiny, like a little, little, like, like a miso mimi size, probably. Right, right. Um, but yeah, they, they're like, what seed did you put? And so this time, I usually put the same seed, and it's usually just like Hill Country Fair generic bird seed. This today, we're sampling three different types of bird seed, three bird seeds here. So the bird, like, here's here's the types of feed we got. So we got wild bird seed on number one. Mm -hmm. Or is that three? I'm backwards. I don't know. So bird feeder number one, wild bird seed. That is Hill Country Fair. You can get that at H E B. But it comes in a giant bag. It's like seven dollars. And then so I was like, well. Let's change it up and try a different brand, which is still Hill Country Fair, just in a smaller bag with a blue label. Contains a lot of the same things, maybe different ratios, but this is Texas Blend. <coughs> yeah. Texas Blend for Texas birds. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Texas birds are just as prideful as anybody else from Texas. That's true. And so they don't want to just eat, oh, Hill Country Fair wild bird seed. Oh, yeah. No. If I have a They cup also, of that. they want that. And then the really hoity-toity guys, they want this morning song trail mix. Yeah, oh, yeah. So we put that in the third feeder, second that's, that's feeder is the blue bag. It's a smaller bag. It might be the same stuff, just repackaged. I don't even know. This one didn't specify Texas birds. So I got the Texas one just so, you know, we'd make sure we had birds here. One thing you should be very careful about is, yeah, it's the same exact stuff in Wild Bird Seed versus Texas Bird Seed, Hill Country Fair. Yeah. If a bird that's not from Texas eats the Texas Bird Seed, they will die. Instantly. Instantly. Yeah, like on it's, the contact. It's so disturbing. Yeah. It is, you don't want to see that, you don't want that to be involved in your feeder, so please, if there are non-Texas birds around you in any way, don't buy that seed, please. Yeah. No, and, and so the, the greatest thing about that, you know, me being part Round Rock Coxwell. Right. I get the Texas kind. I feel like I just watched like nine seasons of Walker Texas Ranger. I mean, essentially, you did. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. it's really good. It's a fantastic show and very accurate. Yeah. I in mean, in terms of what what it's like. People are like, oh, I want coffee. Yeah. In the morning. No. 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 no you don't. That's stupid. Don't make me laugh. Why would anyone want coffee? That doesn't make any sense to me either. No. no. I mean, well, the, the the problem is you've got people that are that are not. You know, they're not birds. No, they're, they're people. Not. They want coffee because they they're people. When you're a bird, when you have bird nature, the only thing that will satisfy you is that feed. You got to get that feed. Got to get that feed. Got to mm -hmm. get that feed. And you got to get the right kind of feed. Because you get the wrong kind of feed, your day's fucked up. You're fucked up for life. Yeah. Fucked they're never going to come back. They will not trust you. They're never. If you get them like Oklahoma mix, they will fucking never come back. Oklahoma mix is literally just methamphetamine and broken glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what the birds eat there. Sure that's what, what the, the people I eat I mean, there. the Florida mix is pretty much the same. but Florida mix? Nothing but oranges and Florida. I think Florida guy. mix is just yeah. a bunch of needles in a bird feeder. It's like yeah. that and like uh, like Florida man and schmegma. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, it's you know those those bird feeders where it's the liquid for the hummingbirds. It's like that with a hypodermic needle coming off of every end, and instead of a bird feeding on it, it's just a Florida man aggressively poking his arm into it <laughs> to get the free heroin. <laughs> It's like bum fights. It's like bum fights, yeah. yeah. You throw one of those into a, into a crowd in Tallahassee. We call that a Florida wedding party. Yeah. yeah. We call that a Florida wedding. There you go. Normally you throw rice. No, you throw one of those. Yeah. I was actually going to mention. Uh, oh, that was a departure. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hurry. Oh, no, all good. We uh, should uh, probably like call them back real quick. I don't know if you mind <laughs> if I use this. I mean, oh, yeah. That, I didn't that, watch it. Okay. I didn't watch it. My slab is all brothers. over that. You gotta spit all over it. I didn't spit on it. Yeah. No. <laughs> you should spit on it more. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. It tastes like pennies or. Well, so I don't brush my teeth. Is what, what's going on here? Okay. Birds don't do that. No. They Why don't. would you? Why well, do I don't even have teeth? Let's yeah. be honest. You just got a beak. Yeah. I'm honking. You do a pretty good job. I mean. So it's weird. It's possible that they're just so they're they're out at this point. They're looking to swallow cock. They don't care what they hear. Yeah. So I think they did. They just had about roughly a five to ten minute feed. Right. Now they're going to swallow cock. They they have to they, after a five to ten minute feed. We're looking at a five to twelve hour cock session. Damn yeah. it. They're right over there swallowing cock. It's true. They just went right out of frame. Come back, guys. Mm, 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 mm. I don't have the same touch. It's actually so the the swallowing cock part mm -hmm. is more of like a traditional dance. Right, it's true. Um, it is, and and this is one of the things that like if you talk to an ornithologist, they'll tell you birds don't have culture. Explain yeah. the traditional cock swallowing. Exactly. Uh, the song "Oh, I Want to Dance with Somebody." Yeah, just kind of makes me think like I I see the innuendo there. Yeah, it's about. It's it, it's about what a bird does when he's alone yeah. with another bird. Bird. There's uh, we actually when I give my presentation I will go into some detail about bird cocks. Uh, you know, eventually. So. Uh, go into some detail about bird cocks. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Yeah, I just want to test so, the stream uh, because I, don't, I oh, yeah, would yeah, hate yeah, if yeah. we did all of this for nothing. Here you go. You gotta spit, like I said, this here, there's a hole right there. Uh huh. You gotta spit all over that bad boy. Spit all over the spit hole. Spit all over the hole. Otherwise, yeah. it's not gonna work. Wait, Wait show us the hole again? Right here. Look at that. That's the spit okay. hole. And you spit all over that. You gotta put your spit in the hole, yeah. Right okay. here. Okay. I'm gonna call my ancestors <clears throat> back. This might even wake up the ancestors of oh. old. Look at that, we've got something in the, in the yard there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Is there a cat? I can't tell. <laughs> Damn, Joe. Oh, here we go, it's working already. Yeah. Wow. Look at that, right? <laughs> Man, I was doing it wrong. I was like, wow, is that a round rock cockstall? That beautiful cry. Yeah. That beautiful warble. You're yeah. so good at that. <sighs> Yeah, no, and and we're back. But you, you see, we do have a little visit. Oh, he, he left. He, oh, as yeah, soon as it was right. gone, he was, was like, "Why?" A round rock cock swallow. That was a round rock cock swallow. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, it's a squirrel. Okay, squirrel on the ground. It's fine. Giant squirrel, though. So the squirrels and the birds kind of get along. There is a cat though that I had to take care of last night. Yeah. But did you, you twisted its head off? Yeah. No, I just yeah. straight up. You just ended it. Ended it. Yeah. Into the ground. Uh, you gotta suck the head off that crawfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was no. fine. It wasn't a pet. Like, it had the little clip to your. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. Those are totally fine and just punch. Yeah. We see them. Yeah, I mean, we learned that from the movie Juno. Yeah. Did she kill a cat in that movie? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, it's, so it's like. You don't actually see it in the theater version. Uh -huh. Deleted scene. She right. is just doing nothing but kill cats. Really? Mm. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That kind of changes my perspective on that on that film. I don't drink Sunny D. Yeah. So, but I do eat oranges if they're in the middle of it. 
Yeah. If they're in the millet, yeah. then you got you have no choice. Yeah. I do drink Sunny D. I actually don't drink anything else. <laughs> that can that I cracked, that was a can of Sunny Delight. <laughs> Nice cold the, can of alcoholic. Oh yeah, it was the hard sunny. The hard, hard, hard sunny, sunny delight. Yeah, the those, hard yeah, you remember those commercials <laughs> in the '90s where like the kids would all run in and they'd be like, you know, they're playing soccer or whatever, and then their mom got them hard sunny delight. Yeah, and yeah. they they crack it open, and then the next thing you know, they're all just like screaming and fighting each other. Yeah, yeah. I think it was only in Florida they had the that one kid these commercials. Yeah, yeah, there was like. The kid, they're like, oh man, all we got is the purple stuff and this and that hard D. That hard, hard D. Like, so yeah. Oh, well, we got. It looks like we've got somebody. What is this guy? I don't know. I actually, I, I, I can't identify him. I think I, you, you've got to take this one. Shit. Ah, man, I feel under pressure here. But uh, famous birdologist. Well, you know, I, I, I know uh, more about what I've birds are. I've just been like winging this, and I'm not, no pun intended, I've been winging this this whole time. I don't know if anyone's noticed or caught on. I, I don't know I, what I'm talking I about. Haven't, I haven't caught on at all. I really I mean, don't. you're so accurate in the but, way you do this. I mean, if I were to, let me see. He's I'm going to have to get a closer right? look at this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to get right in there. Oh, okay. I'm right I, under I, it. I, honestly, I'm thinking, can we go up in the helicopter? Can we take a look at this guy really close up? Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to need to do that. Um, or at least Joe. Yeah, I mean, I think I think Joe should, yeah. I could do like a solid reconnaissance. Give me one second. Ah, oh, that hard D. The hard D? Mm. You know, recon missions in the helicopter really do us a lot better than so far away. It's true. I mean, we're down here on the ground. We're in the treehouse. But you, you can't tell what's going on. And you know what? You can't. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me, let me, hold on. Pop the one for good luck. Wow. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> that is a definite round rock cock swallow. Uh, oddly enough, before they do swallow the cocks, I've noticed this, and it was only the only time I ever noticed this was getting closer looks in the helicopter. Their cloacas prime up uh -huh. after they eat the millet bobby brown, uh -huh. and then they go swamp cock. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean that's the, the every story about a round rock cock swallow is going to end with it swallowing cock. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I did, that's very interesting. That's a very unique looking round rock cock swallow. You notice the white on the wings. I, at the first I was like, oh, is this a North Antarctic shrike? No. Because it can't. It's too chunky. Yeah. Uh, the neck is obviously chunky. I, I couldn't identify it, but now that you say, now that it's confirmed from the helicopter that that's a round rock cock swallow, the white on its wings means that this one has swallowed at least 10,000 miles of length of cock yeah. in its lifetime. Yeah. Well, they call it the 10,000 mile high club. It's the 10,000 mile high club. It's the white wings, the white wing club. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a famous thing with those those birds. Yeah. The Crest Ultra. The Crest Ultra Pro Whitening Club. Yeah. yeah. I actually only use hard Crest Ultra Pro. That was good flying. I think you fly better when I'm you know, drunk. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. It's, it doesn't go on your record if you get pulled over in the sky. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of like... So going to Canada is know, still a, a walk in the park. It's like the open seas, you know? Yeah. Actually, if you get pulled over in the sky, they get you in trouble if you're not drunk. Uh, yeah. 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 That's why airline pilots are always blotting for safety. Yeah. Exactly. Like if you don't have at least two sips of hard D... Mm-hmm. They won't let you on the plane. They won't <clears> even <throat> let you on. Mm-hmm. I'm glad we're getting some action today. It's, yeah. Uh, I was worried for a little bit because it was kind of dead earlier, and like it is like a hundred degrees outside right now. I don't know. I mean, they still got to eat. They. I thought you know the last before we even started the show. What kind of inspired me to do this show was I've been just like filming my bird feeders because I got FOMO of my bird feeder when I'm at work, and I'm like, hey, I'm probably missing so much cool stuff. Right. And so I like I'll just live stream it for like eight hours, and I'll, I'll watch it back and fast forward to the good parts. And uh, while doing that, one day it was raining, 
it's like hard. And I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to go live today because I probably, probably nothing will happen. But I'm like, let's just see what happens. It was busy as shit. Birds eat in the rain. They I do. didn't know that they could even fly in the rain. I thought that might hinder their flying that's, that's abilities. It's a, a common misconception. They fly yeah. better in the rain because they're technically swimming. You know, yeah. Adam Savage from Mythbusters, birdologist. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, wow. he. Another guy. Whoa. Mythbusters. Oh. He just chased him off. He just chased him off. They're well, probably going to go. I think that actually was a that was a cock swallowing. Uh, yeah. they, there was like a greeting. Yeah. Yeah. They're so, DTF. It's weird. Okay, so I definitely, like, I put, like, chocolate sauce and rice mm -hmm. in a bird feeder once. Yeah? Oh, hey. Got nothing but Patagonian ball bags. I Speaking think I'm, of Patagonian <laughs> ball bags, <laughs> look, Patagonian. there's a Patagonian ball bag having a dominance fight with a round rock cock swallow live on stream right now. Where else are you going to find that but the bird cave? Right. The, the, only at the bird cave. Only at the bird at cave. The bird cave slash call. Yeah. That round rock cock swallow has taken possession of that feeder. It is his now. He's, That's yeah. he's gone down. Ball bag he's too. on the little little one. He's yeah, the one. Patagonian ball back. He was like, he looked at the trail oh. mix. He was like, maybe I can eat this. Oh no, they're they're friends now. They are officially friends. Yeah, uh, they're best friends now. You can tell by their behavior. Yeah, and this is going to strike up a new show on Nick at Night that is called the Golden Boys. Golden, Boy. the these, Golden these Boys. These are the Golden Boys. I remember that. Yeah. It was about those two birds that were best friends. Yeah. <laughs> they flew in the air, they ate seeds and milk. Yeah. 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 Swallowed cock. But yeah. they couldn't show that in the 70s. So yeah, it was couldn't. heavily implied. Yeah. It was heavily implied. Like, I wasn't expecting one of these to show up. Was, uh, so I don't even have the graphics loaded for it. But I'm pretty sure just eyeballing that, that guy is 35 years old. Probably 35, That's yeah. Stupid. Yeah, that's, that, looks, that does look like a third. You can tell by the way that he's questioning all of his life decisions. Yeah. Up to that point. Yeah. Yeah. The craziest thing about Patagonian ball bags that I know for sure is that they actually have a life expectancy all the way to the second they turn 420 years old. Oh. Uh, wow. But they could get killed by anything. <coughs> they can also die of sadness. They could. A lot of them get really sad. They die young, mm -hmm. and young meaning like 123. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But 36. Sheesh. A lot of times when they get around 123, they're like, "Oh, oh no, uh, the world that I was born into no longer exists. I don't understand this technology. What is this 5G?" Yeah. And then they die. They die of, of essentially just they can't they can't keep up. They can't get it anymore. Yeah. You're not going to see them on a zoo book, which is crazy. We're seeing one right now. Yeah. Yeah. They would never feature him in a zoo book because of some of the things that the Patagonia ballbacks. They, they've made some kind of out there political statements over the years. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Um, I didn't. The, they they were there was a feature piece about them in Playboy in the late uh, '60s, and I mean it's not. I can't even repeat it here because we'll get the stream taken down. Pretty risky. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. It's, it's offensive. It's, it's offensive to men. It's offensive to women. It's offensive to basically every ethnicity, majority and minority in the United States of America. It, it's probably the most inflammatory political statement ever made, and it was made by Patagonian. And it's yeah. generally like Swipe. personally directed to like garbage men. Yeah. 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 yeah, which was so strange. I don't know yeah. why. It's it's so vehement. It's so violent. It goes right up to the edge of being like. Actually, illegal to say it. Yeah, yeah. And which we're not going to say. It. We're not. We can't say no. it. No. Absolutely. <laughs> that not. would mean no. <laughs> Sayonara, more helicopters. Yeah. And it, it, just because I know about it doesn't mean I agree with it at all. Yeah. I don't. We're I don't just, agree with. We're it. on episode two. Yeah. I just make it through this without getting us canceled, and we'll be good. I we'll think. be good. Yeah. I think Round Rock Cock Swallows pushing the line. But I mean, that's what they're called. So what That's okay. You can't change science. Uh, yeah. You can't change science. No. It's okay. It's in the science book. Yeah. So look at them going at it. I think they're trying to have sex for us. Probably. Right now. Yeah. Didn't you uh, glory hole one of those? Yeah. There's so that's why they're on opposite sides. Yeah. They they actually stick their they curl out their dicks mm -hmm. and go through this. It's, it's, it's Which a lot of people haven't seen it's like what bird, bird, dicks, bird looks dicks. Like. Yeah. yeah. But I'm glad later we're not we still got live action to watch here. But later, y'all wait. 
There's I wait just, to the end of this. You're gonna see the best presentation. But Dr. Don Jolly, mm -hmm. birdologist, about all kinds of stuff dealing with bird anatomy. He just flew right up on our window here. This yeah. is amazing. Could hear him. I mean, this is so much action. I would open the window, but they really like I, they see us and they fly away. So that's why like I rigged it up like this. We're knock knock knocking on heaven's door right now. Absolutely. Yeah. This is this is a spiritual moment. They want privacy to be able to swallow cotton. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's 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 what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. 20 minutes in heaven, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like a, it would be a spit swapping make out match. It's more of like a cock thrusting swallow match. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I've seen one on one of these lives before, before we made the show. And I was like, when I do the live streams, I usually <coughs> do them just for myself. I like eight hours. I don't want no telling what's going to happen. I don't want people to see it. So I'll just put only me, but, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise my hand real quick. Yeah. Joe? Yeah, yeah, me. Um, <laughs> so... I'm, uh, I'm like, Joe? You gotta face this way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over here. It's too much hard D. I wonder if I can... So much D. So much hard D. Too much hard D. Uh, what was good? Uh, well, yeah, so it was more of like a statement. I think the uh, one of the original like birdologists from like uh, maybe like 805 BC. Mm -hmm. They originally called it the cock, right? Uh, mm -hmm. What the hell is this rooster that we're calling it these days? Yeah. Well, rooster. This is this is the pernicious reach of ornithologist political correctness. Yeah. Uh, reaching in, they're like, don't call it a cock anymore. It's not a cock. It's not crowing. It's a rooster. And it's uh, it's speaking. That's what they want you to say. Nobody says it. Yeah. But that's what they want you to say. I've always called it cock. Yeah. You do, everybody calls it cock. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, look at that. The cock is crowing in the morning. Yeah. Look at that majestic cock with his red waddle. That's what you hear people say that every day on the street. Yeah. 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 Sorry, yeah. Sorry, I flipped this around, but I think it's making things worse. Sorry. Well, yeah, let's change positions really quick. Whoa, not that one. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait that's just, actually... No. Oh. That's pretty cool looking. It's the same thing, just flipped horizontally. Somehow it looks better. But then we would see a different uh, different perspective. Yeah. You know, if you flip it horizontally. This one I like. Yeah, Is yours good. a good job? Like, can we point? Does it follow you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's backwards, it's like do, really do, weird. Do, oh, sorry, guys. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Just taking a quick technical break to get things back to normal. It's Takes the show very seriously. That, that, that We were getting so much action and then everybody's departed, but we know that it's only a couple of minutes yeah. until yeah. The, the show is back on the big show. Yeah, the it's that last... Big show, yeah. Birds don't eat it. It's a known fact. That sun comes down, even when it's close to setting, they're done. Yeah. They're full. They do not eat again. That's when they just go back to their nests wow. and start throwing up into their babies' mouths. That's right, yeah. Like, That's a classic thing that all birds do yeah. every day. They're always throwing up into other birds' mouths. Yeah. Well, and some would say that they're like, you know, have like eating disorders, eating problems. No. no. They have eating solutions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eating uh, disorder. Really? Yeah. It's a eating a different order. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's more of like eating, I'll have seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is one of the big problems with people. What do they do? They eat, and that's it. That's it. That's it. That's Makes literally waste. the end of it. What a waste. Yeah. yeah. They could be eating and then throwing it up later in a productive way into somebody's mouth. Yeah. Yeah. It's a waste. It's actually it's a waste. what me and my ex-wife did. That's, I mean, but that makes sense because you're part Ron Ron Coxwell. Coxwell right. Yeah. You know, the thing is, swallowing cocks, it, it gets tough at times when, you're, when your throat isn't strong enough. Yeah. So I, I tend to, you know, do the more people things. I'm only like a part round rock cock swallow. Mm -hmm. I, I, I eat and make waste. It's just awful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, people tend to undercut it. But swallowing cocks, is a very difficult profession. Yes. Yeah. You're a lot of times 
your throat's sore, your lips are bruised and chapped. You know, you, there's the only thing you want to do is not swallow another cock, but you have to. You're compelled. Yeah. You have to do it. I seriously wish I was more of like a Patagonian ball bag mm -hmm. than Round Rock Oxwell. Yeah. How I, I'd I, like to live. It's I, the Patagonian ball bag. You know, I mean, they're they're <laughs> taking everything easy. They don't have to do that work. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, work gives you a certain amount of character, and like, I don't want to talk out of school, but like every Patagonian ball bag I've ever seen, including the ones on the street right stream right here, it's a total piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Just what a fucking that's, piece of shit that bird is. Yeah, that's why it's yeah. The term Patagonian ball bag became like a derogatory term. People yeah. mm -hmm. in school always call me. Welcome back. Like like Patagonian ball bag. Is that is so hurtful. Yeah. That's so hurtful. I can't believe. Welcome that. back. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I'm actually actually crying right now. Yeah. We had to put Joe. There he is. He's, yeah, he's, he's crying just yeah. like Amber Heard. Yeah. I, more, way more believable than Amber Heard. <laughs> She's yeah. an Oscar winning actress. She won an Oscar for Aquaman. If you ever call my brother Patagonian ball bag again, I will come after you. Yeah. No, you, you have to. You can't, you can't allow that to stand. Thanks, Joe. I caught your back. That's that's beautiful. That's a beautiful moment for Brother Lula. Yeah, like you got got my back up there, bro. Yeah, he's my, he's my big Spider Man. That's that's why he's in the treehouse because if you keep him watch, man. If I were to say something out of turn, I would be gone like that. Yeah. He's got the back of my head in his sights. Mm -hmm. Fully snipable. Fully snipable. Three sixty yeah. no scope easily. Yeah. 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 I mean, I got my sniper's gold in Call of Duty. Really? Yeah, that well, should be. That that's a, you're a dangerous man. High high ranking officer right now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I got a S rank in a Crazy Taxi. Was that where you're playing on that one stream? There was like a. I was looking at through some of your videos. To oh. That. Uh, and there was like one I, where you're like you're like hey, I was like you're like in the middle of playing a video game. It looked like Crazy Taxi. It might be. S rank on Crazy. So that's crazy. That is yeah. crazy, yeah. And taxi as well. Yeah. It's both of those things at once. Yeah. And S rank. That's like Nobel Peace Prize right there. It is. It's actually a much bigger deal than Nobel Peace Prize, but I'll, I'll accept the comparison. Yeah. Welcome yeah, back. I, I, I don't know much. Yeah. Pretty dumb. No. Well, Park bird. Uh, well, but, you know, it's like Terry Davis says. It's like we're all just birds looking at computer monitors, you know? Maybe yeah. you have some bird ideas. It's yeah. fine. Well, Perry Davis and Sammy Davis Jr. even. Yeah, they were. song about that. They were very good friends, yeah. yeah. He Terry, probably doesn't Terry have a Davis. helicopter. No. And you should actually, if you want, just go like, uh, you parked it in front of the birdhouse, but just like park it up on top of the birdhouse. I can do that. Yeah, yeah we okay. should move it because it's going to get a ticket. It's alternate site parking yeah. in the forest right now. Okay. Yeah. Those so park rangers are real serious dicks. Yeah. Oh my god, they're such assholes. All right. Got to get this out of here. All right, sorry about that. Okay. Pulling the chain and yanking the thing. Going. All right. Let's get the hell out there. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Oh man. There it goes. That's a lot of wind. Hey, you got a lot of sun in your face. You need more protection. I do. I do. Luckily, there was another hat available. Whoa. Farts. Almost. See, I really suck at flying. No, you're great. Don't. I'm not drunk enough. You could be drunker, but you know, I mean, I think you're doing just fine, honestly. Oh, man. Parked it. That's why you shouldn't drink and fly. Yeah, what? Well, you should drink and fly. Yeah, absolutely. I drink fly, like, every single day. In fact, uh, all the air traffic control men, they tell me, hey man, you're doing us a favor by getting drunk as well. Yeah. And I say, why? They say, because that's cool. You're making our job look really awesome. Because drinking is really, really cool. All right. So
sorry guys, technical difficulties, drink too much. We're gonna try this one more time. This part could the helicopter. We gotta do it one more time. The helicopter just slipped off. I thought Joe's okay. Joe's okay. I have had like a couple more sips of drinks. Here we go. And we're going. Whoa! Yeah. That was rough. Get this bad boy on the roof. Chopper 69 ready for landing. Ooh, oh, nice. there we go. Nice. Very nice, nice job. Man. Very nice job. Seriously, Thanks. folks, man. don't try this at home. Try it when you're watching birds. Yeah. Only when you're watching birds should this be allowed, yes. That was that was really good. Uh, great job, Parker and Joe. Absolutely good job, Joe. Tony Montana would have said the same thing. Yeah. I mean, how could he not? He also loved helicopter parking. Hel helicopter parking? He was a birdologist as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was. He was a birdologist in Cuba before he came over. Yeah. yeah. Well, so he was Tony Montana. Yeah. Had to change his name yeah. to Tony Montana. Tony Montana, yeah. Yeah. Tony Montana was the birdologist. You can't contain Tony hey, Montana. Whoa. They're using the like makeshift bird bath I made, which is just a flower table I bought from Savers back in like 2005. R.I.P. Savers. Or maybe, no, that was in high school. I think that was like 2003. I remember that thing. And I yeah. used, yeah, I just kept it ever since then, but I put a mixing bowl that I never used. I made like brownies once and just put that out there with some water in it because it was like I didn't have time to get a bird bath, which that's going to be the next upgrade is right there. They sell pretty good price bird baths with like solar powered water pumps to keep the water circulating. You get that bird bath over there? Those Patagonian ball bags gonna show up and act like a peeping tom. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be because like look at the look at the uh, the bird there. Oh hi Joe. Hey, what's going hey, on? Joe. How you doing, Joe? Welcome back. You know, I just walked back over uh, the tree house almost caught on fire the first time I tried to park wow. that thing. Really? Oh, shit. Yeah. So I had to. I don't know if it's structurally sound for le like a helipad. It's it works. It was pretty tough wood. But. I'm gonna go ahead and get about I'd say like a half a baker's dozen of round rock cock swallows to come yeah. make an actual landing pad next week. Yeah. Six so. and a half should be good. Yeah. Half. A baker's. If there's like a baker's cousin. Kind of close to thirteen. That, that looks like a classic Neapolitan pigeon. I think mean, it's just pooping. It's not even drinking. No, it's, it's, wa just... it's washing its butt. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, it has to do like the rinse cycle. Mm hmm. And then it flushes. Yeah. And then it projects. Hey, he's, he's back. There he is. Both There's a in. Neapolitan pigeon. Oh, no, that's the round That's the round rock cock swallow with the uh, Mile High Club. The, the uh, white shirt. With the, the, the plume. The Colgate. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He's he's in the cold club. Now. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That is a round rock cockswallow. We're seeing so many round rock cockswallows today. It's just they're in season this time of year. It's, it's all hot and muggy yeah. outside. It's weird. That is that is actually, you know, on a from a birdology perspective, that is why they swallow cock is its heat regulation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the winter, no. No. Couldn't you can't you can't even in the winter all basically all they do is watch instructional YouTube videos about how to do it. Yeah, right. At least for winter, because they get so jones and they're just like, ah, cock, yeah. we got a small cock. That's, that's one of the, like, the classic cry in the winter. In December, you go to any parking lot in Texas, and that's what you hear is, ah, yeah. ah, I got a small cock, ah. Yeah. And you know he does that, because he's, like, his, his standards are pretty low, because this guy likes the green bag of Ooh. wild hill country fair. Bird seed. Oh, he's got it's no like, taste. He's no got no taste. Style. He'll put anything in his mouth. This guy, like you could call him whatever swallow. Yeah, like, yeah. More like round rock dirt loser swallow. Yeah. Like yeah, it's best like if you want to attract specifically those and no other birds, you just fill the feeders up with Jenko. Yeah, like that's <laughs> that's what you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? Like, y'all haven't done this? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm thinking about something completely unrelated. You're right, you're right, that you just fill up a feeder with Jacob. That's correct. 
I know what you were thinking about too. That one scene okay, in Fantasia 2000. It's in, yeah, it's in Fantasia 2000, 2000. The famous Walt Disney production, <laughs> Fantasia 2000, where Mickey Mouse eats the entire bird cedar full of Jacob. Yeah. Hilarious scene. Yeah. Hilarious yeah. scene. It's yeah. been censored out. If you try to watch that scene now, you won't see it. Mm -hmm. If it's on like mm -hmm. Disney Plus, you gotta have the original like diamond edition VHS tape. You have to have oh, a yeah, white yeah. clamshell. Yeah. 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 A white clamshell, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It's like that movie Hangover came out, and I'm like, this is just a total remake of Fantasia 2000. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially when Mickey Mouse goes to eat the bird feeder. It was, the so, <laughs> it was so blatant. It was so blatant. I couldn't believe that they ripped off the famous Mickey Mouse eats a bird feeder full of Jacob scene. <laughs> yeah. And I did put the poll up. The numbers are in. The numbers are in, and sadly, we're not going to get to try out putting beans and weenies in there. The nays have it. Nobody um, wants to see nobody wants beads to and weedies to burn. Yeah. <laughs> we put, <laughs> last episode, we put a poll up saying, like, hey, should we put beans and weenies in there? <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, I put the poll up, and it's got three votes for no, not cool, bro. And just, I think, me and Wait, you. Wait, who said not I think cool only you bro. and me. <laughs> Uh, that's why I put on the thing, and uh, they're probably not even birdologists. Yeah, there's no, just the just option. Skip by this. My yeah, my girlfriend and her mom and somebody else were like, no, don't do that. Me and Joe had the yay votes, yeah. but no beans and weenies. What I want to see, I think I want to recount. Yeah, like we'll do this again. We'll put the poll up because I'm not. I I'm pretty sure we won. I'm not going to get into politics, but I'm sure we yeah. won. Yeah. Uh, I'll be quite honest. Like I don't, I would, I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, I, I, that's what I was gonna say. Is it could have been our two votes versus like eight thousand no's, and yeah. we'd still do it. And if they have those mail-in things, yeah, it's just I. I don't just don't think I, unless people are actually putting their full, like unless you put a fingerprint down to vote in that poll. How do we know that you're not just getting? Because there's elements in our society that are very anti beans and weenies. Yeah, they're very anti. Yeah. Um, and so you know. How do we know it's not Big Jankum trying to get the feeder for themselves? Yeah. yeah. How do we know that? We don't know that. So I think you should do the beans and weenies. As a birdologist, that's my opinion. Right. Yeah. But so is it bushes? Oh, yeah. And we get that Goya. We can get Goya, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's the only... Wolf brand chili as well. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I think probably just whatever's the cheapest. They like, seem to like Hill Country Fair bird seeds. Uh, we'll get Hill Country Fair beans, yeah. Hill Country Fair weenies. Well, all blue label. Hopefully there's already just a can for of beans label? with weenies in there. Yeah, but Hill Country Fair beans and weenies for birds. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a few of those oh, fill it oh, up. Oh. There's a guy. Hey, flew him right at us. Brought cool. to you by Hill Country Fair. Beans and weenies for birds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just stuff. want to see what that would look like. That would be, it's be gross. And I kind of want to see if they'd go for it. But at the same time, I don't want them to not keep coming. Because we get a lot of action. We do. I don't want to ruin that reputation. If the it thing is, it might, like it might it. attract like other types of animals. Yeah, someone was saying you're going to get squirrels. But I'm like, is that a known thing? Squirrels like beans and weenies? That's yeah, a comment. Squirrels are some nasty bastards. They'll eat anything. Yeah. They'll eat squirrels anything. Squirrels are like cousins to like Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers. That's true. Yeah. Definitely like pork on some weenies and beans. Yeah, like you saw, you saw Monterey Jack in that in that show. He's fat. <laughs> He's so fat. He has no self-control. Yeah. He's a big, fat squirrel. Uh, disgusting, really. He watches NASCAR and then he saves up like two paychecks and goes gambling. Yeah. That's pretty much all he does. Yeah. Oh, oh, three's oh a crowd. God. Three's a crowd. And Watch out. Onion crowd. ball bag and two round rocks. What are we doing here? This is the 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 round rock coxswain. Yeah, he's on like the fuck top this. There. He's like this. This is mine. I own this. This is my block. That's what we were talking about in the last episode. The part of the way they assert their dominance is they get above the other one and just shit on them while they're eating. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. We saw one shit on He's actually, one. like... He's trying. Like, he's puckering he's up. He's puckering. Right, you can't see the cursor, but I'm pointing at his butt for the... Yeah. He's see loading him. up. I see it. He is puckering. That's going to about to blow. Oh. That ball bag comes back. He's getting shat on. <laughs> yeah. 
I can hear him out there. Yeah, there's such a, so much action. Oh, look. Even set up. Oh, never mind. The ball bag's gone. He knows what's happening. The, the ball bag knew that his days were numbered. They're like, we're taking all of these feeders. We need them all. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Like, we got our villages to make right now. Yeah. I, we like a variety of foods. Apparently, it doesn't really matter for these guys what kind of seed you put in there. I think we're proving it live because people are asking, you know, what kind of seed. And we told you, these are the seeds, three different types. They like them all the same. So, I mean, that one, uh, the, the, the Morning Star Trail Mix actually looked kind of good. I think, I think, uh, you know, I think to see, you know, we can't trust the birds' opinions on these. Just he's eating that one. He's eating that one. He almost shit on himself and ate it. And so what a eating a shit too. I think we need to just sample the bird seed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring out some samples and we can do like a blind taste test. Which oh, so which of the three types of bird feed we have out there uh, do you like most? So well, I'll I'll be Joe's right opinion will be very helpful here because of your bird ancestry. Right, 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 right. Um, actually. Like super allergic to like most tree nuts, but seeds mm -hmm. I go hawk wild on. Oh wow, you go hawk wild. Well, we say hawk, but it rhymes with cock. Right. That's gotcha. Pretty much. Gotcha. Okay, that makes perfect sense. And hawk is like making fun of right. the orthodontists or whatever. Yeah, the hell you they know. Are. Uh, I'm I'm so glad that you that we're all on the same page with that because I I hate showing up on I, yeah I show up on a lot of burning live streams. Well, uh, and uh, yeah, I think I think the first time I ever like met you was on uh, like you know Mur Muddy Fire Rock. Yeah, like out there next to the green trees of the Ever North. Yeah, the Ever North. And, and, uh, I love the Ever North. Ever North. I actually have a uh, I have a winter home there. Yeah, I you know I, I was looking land grabs out there right now is just awful. Too yeah, expensive. it's so it's the the real estate prices are crazy. I literally, when I say I have a winter home, what I mean is I have bought someone else's septic tank. It cost $600,000. I put myself in a wetsuit with, with an oxygen tank, like a scuba diver. Mm -hmm. And I just lowered myself down into it. That's what I do for about two months every winter. Yeah. That's what I do. And that, it's like hibernation. And mm -hmm. It's a great place to reflect. Yeah. It's a great place to reflect. You're just... It's just you. Oh, man. You... you got some taste tests. Yeah, we got, we've got to get this taste test underway here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's just pretend that's going to be like what we're going to actually get. Okay. Okay. So... <laughs> Alright. So right here that is bird seed number one. That's that like northern crap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's got millet and some other like rocks and shit in there. Um, this Birds is, love to eat rocks. Yeah. That's true. Actually, they, they, do, they need are beat, to eat rocks. Some people, are, yeah. This is the second one, and then we got the third one here. This is really weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just like all the makings of a cliff bar. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I think Joe's, Joe will take one, Don will take two, I'll take three, and we're just gonna, you know. Okay. I'm just gonna reach in there, take a good handful of bird seed out. Yeah, I mean. Mm. Mm. Ow. Okay. Mm. Aside from the rocks, it's actually not bad. Like, I might, instead of buying sunflower seeds, I feel like these dark black striped sunflower seeds for birds are pretty good. And it's like $7 for a giant bag. There's not enough rocks in this one. No? No. There's a perfect amount of rocks in this. I mean, but this I, is a, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this one. Yeah, that's number two, I mean. This has got a, a, a... Oh, I'm finding him. It's got a floral bouquet. Yeah. Um, there's a hint of cinnamon. 
Um, and there's the rocks that I need to replace the teeth that I don't have so that I can uh, yeah. grind up food in my stomach. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, and see, yeah, that's just a straight up rock. We usually do that as birds. Uh, we grind it up in our mouth. Mm -hmm. Kind of like uh, one of those, oh, I can't think of it. Like a slap chop. Yeah. Uh, like with one rock, with your bird seed. Right. Just slap chop away and you're yeah, you're full, and then you're gonna go throw up in your wife's mouth, your kid's yeah, mouth, your kid's mouth. Why don't you try that one? Yeah. Wow. Uh, what uh, do you think? Um. Ow. Um. I don't know which. Are, like, did you like A, B, or C? I was kind of leaning towards B. B. I mean, I've only had B, but I don't want anything else. So this is. I, I yeah, actually am only gonna eat this. That's a bit. That's the fucking. Yeah. That's the Texas one. Yeah. Well, it's it's amazing. It tastes fantastic. I think it might be. We're all, you yeah. know, we're from Texas, yeah. Yeah. but uh, I think the Texas one wins. Mm -hmm. and that's, I'm I not mean, trying to be try, try this, try this, try this. Yeah, I mean, it wins with the champagne supernova in the sky. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, this one, the the morning song one that has raisins in it. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I, I don't Ooh. even know. I'm I was worried to get it I'm like. Raisins? What do they think? I'm like 89 in a retirement home? Yeah. No. Don't put raisins in there. It's like going to be a bunch of like freaking hard candies in there. Right. Yeah. I don't I know where there's original in my bird feeder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we'll put up a poll. Should we fill up a bird feeder with where there's original? You should absolutely fill up a bird feeder with where there's originals. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, because it I was be searching so for that name you got yeah. it. I'm glad. That was good. Werther's. Werther's original. I couldn't yeah. think of it. Was, this is a fucking caramel hard uh, that, like, thing. That, breaks that the chewable candy. strawberry office candy. Yeah. Whatever that is. It's like every grandma has a pocket full. It just comes with, like, once you hit a certain age, it's just like, they just send it to you. Yeah, the manage. Social Security Administration sends you the Werther's Originals, and they're actually pre aged. Uh, they have yeah. to be a little old. Yeah. 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 Like, they have, like, Instead of expiration dates, like you can't eat until dates. On mm -hmm. Like you got like wait until twenty twenty five. They put that up. In the well, it's like it's like wine. It's like yeah. whiskey. Yeah. If you, so I heard you know, let's say you're fifteen years old. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh god, I wish I was twenty one. I want to get drunk. Well, so like, you were there's original. It like speeds up the process of you aging. That's mm -hmm. why you can't eat them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until you're old and in a retirement home, because they want you in and out of there. Yeah, you speed up that process, you're good as dead. Yeah. Every time you take a Werther's original, it puts five years on your life. It's sm yeah. like smoking a pack of cigarettes. That's like that's the key. Like you said, they, once you're if you get into a retirement home when you're already like in your sixties, seventies, they're gonna like fast track you out of there. Werther's. Um, so the key is you want to get into a retirement home like no later than thirty five. Mm -hmm. Like you could just right around your mid. 30, early you 30s. You want to be 35. You yeah. want to start just, you know, applying for retirement homes and look at checking them out. Because, like, you get in that early, you get locked in at a good rate, and they have to take care of you. And, like, they give you sponge baths. And sponge stuff baths. Until, for, and then you, you're you set with that for, like, 40 years. You just start eating quiche you know, out right. of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why? Why would you bathe yourself for, like, 40 years and then... Then decide, okay, I guess wait, now wait, is wait, the time. Wait. You you expect me to bathe myself? You think what do you think I am made of money? <laughs> yeah. You think I'm made of money? No. I got every hour of my day if, has to be answerable to the grind, to the hustler mindset, which is so necessary to make it in the highly competitive world of birdology. Yeah. So I don't I can't I can't bathe myself. Mm -hmm. I, I outsource that. I get on Fiverr, the guy shows up, I throw him the sponge, I'm naked. He yeah. knows. He knows what's up. And I pay him five bucks. And you, like your phone number will be at the retirement home, so you'll probably get all these like calls from like Indian people trying to tell you to give you their social security number and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. But you're like, shit, I'm fucking thirty six, dude. Like, fuck that. I like you crazy. I'm not old. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, sorry, we got the, you know, they're like, sorry. we got you <laughs> had something. I was like, I have like a lot of debt. I can give you that. Like, yeah. you want to. You know, you want to pay for that? If you want to like hijack all like three seventy five in my bank account right now, like I guess go for it. Like I'm not a you know living on like government time right now. I'm thirty five. 
That's so all you people. Well, you're 35 there. right now. You have a Werther's original. Yeah. You're I'm 40. actually you're like 40. I don't you're even 40. know how old I'm. I'm I'm 36. So I'm not even going to say yeah. the name. Or 37? No, I'm turning 37. But all I'm trying to say is maybe not going to brand Werther's original. You show up to a club, and you're 18. Right. You pull out a wad full of hard candy, that's just like giving them an ID right there. Yeah. It's true. They don't yeah. need to see any other credentials. You're good to go in, buy as much booze as you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when you, if you lose them anywhere, you're fucked. Yeah. So don't lose them. Make sure you have a good Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. You want to put, you want to put a good demo reel together to get in at an early age too, because they're going to be like, ah, you seem kind of young. And you're going to be like, no, dude, check it out. I have eight hours of me watching a bird feeder. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that uh -huh. should honorary. I should be like an honorary senior citizen, right? Right. If, if you want to flash you, past the lubies, yeah. absolutely. If yeah. you want a senior max, lubies, every meal. Mm -hmm. Lubies every meal. Matlock. Yeah. Matlock. You mm -hmm. got to watch Matlock. Yeah, you do. Um, you've got to listen to audiobooks, uh, but like Thomas Hardy audiobooks. Yeah. You have to listen to like the Mayor of Casterbridge. You have to read the Foresight Saga, yeah. which is a multi-generational story of an English family. You have to be 200 to read that book. Yeah, You have to be 200. Uh, where there's originals helps, those lemon candies that are in like the blue glass bowl. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I mean, these are all like one of the hardest things you can do in the world is get older. So yeah. these are all just practical tips. Well, and you know, it's interesting of like, we're talking about all this, but it all actually reflects around birds and how they are, how we are, right. how we have to accept them. Right. You know, we get old, you can't just watch, you, you can't expect to watch birds and like think that that's going to be the rest of your life. Because it's, it's going to be, but it's going to go by so fast. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. going to miss all the other aspects. I don't even take care of my kids anymore. No. Why would yeah. you? Yeah. Like once you've thrown up in, in their mouths, you've done everything you can do. They're out of the nest. They're out of the nest. I'm watching more birds. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You gotta watch more birds. You gotta get up in the treehouse. You gotta get out in the helicopter. You yeah. gotta watch the birds, man. I will yeah. say though, there was one more thing, very key thing, uh -huh. uh, to your list of be, how to be old. Yeah. You have to act like you're hip because you listen to Adele. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. That's the biggest one. Yeah. Is 100. percent Oh and yeah. I listen to Adele. Mm -hmm. that's, that's exactly what they said. How say. old am I when I said that? Yeah. I don't even 79. 79-ish. 79 79-ish. I mean, yeah. I mean, seriously, like, I'm your brother. How old, how old do you think I am now? I'm not even sure if you're still alive. Like, I'm as good as dead. Yeah. I'm toast. I don't know. He's a dead man walking. Dead bird but, flying. Whoa. Wow. Speaking of... Look at him, another round rock cockswall. That bird's trying to go to that Adele concert next week. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, see, you can hear its, car, its cry, you know. I, I, I really like Adele. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's the other one? <laughs> the, what's what's like, the other, the other one that they like? The, 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 the South African band, oh. the Yolandi. Oh, yes. They dress like Mad Max people. Oh, yeah. Old people think they're very cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, See, this is the problem. You're 36. You don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. I was gonna say modest mouse. No, it's not modest no. mouse. What's the? I was I was at a Ween show. That was all old people. Yeah. There was a lot of old people. Well, they, middle aged people. They must have thought they were at a Dell concert. They thought they were at a Dell concert. That's true. They they got there because they were like, I love Adele. Yeah. And then Ween started playing, and they were like, what the hell is this? Yeah. What is this? Is this the band from the hit film It's Pat? They're just like, you and know. It was. It I know was. who yeah. Lizzo is, and they do that one. And then who yeah. is Lizzo? You know. Yeah. Okay, wait. You're starting to sound like you're like 92. Yeah. What yeah. is Lizzo? Every time you it's... every time you move, your bones crack audibly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you sound like bubble wrap. Yeah. What are you well, packaging? You right sound now? like bubble wrap. It's probably like the rocks we just ate. Yeah. Oh, it could be that. I yeah. don't. I don't know. I mean, the other thing is hollow bird, hollow bones. Yeah. That's a bird trick. Yeah, you're shaped like a mocha head day right now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Damn. Damn, With bro. all those rocks just grinding up your seed, man. Yeah. Gotta make paste. Look at this guy. 
Now he's, he's just he's, yeah, he's just having a good his time. His neck is like five times the size of his head. That's yeah. to accommodate a certain type of thing. <laughs> that bird is all neck. No yeah. head. Well <laughs> sometimes yeah. head. Sometimes. Sometimes. What is his deal? Yeah. And he's eating the, the fancy, the trail mix. Mm hmm. He's just wishing there was beans and weenies out there, though. Yeah. I kind of want to do a test. Let's keep one with bird seed. Let's put cat food in another one, and then beans and weenies in another one. Ooh, that's, yeah. that's, that'd be like the bum fights in bird streets. Just like to have like a cat food thing at a, at a yeah. bird. <laughs> <laughs> A cat food feeder. A yeah, cat food feeder, feeder and a bird feeder right next to each yeah. other. It would it would be the bum fights of, of bird we feeders. Should, we should get like a bird feeder just low enough to the ground that a cat could jump up. To. Oh my not, god! Not not for birds, but just fill it with cat food. We got the cat feeder. Birds can go with like a little. David Attenborough to be the referee on that. Yeah. As you can see, we've thrown a bottle of whiskey in between these two itinerant men. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You see they're like what we have dull, right here. They have like vaginas on the side of their head. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. yeah. Those are called fuck gills. Yeah. But yeah, those are those are fuck gills. Those are, yeah, that's what I thought. That's where they mate. Like when they, we talk about the cock mated. swallow, we're yeah. not talking about through the beak, that would hurt. That that's no, no way. No no yeah. no. We're it's talking through the fuck gills. Yeah. Yeah. They swallow they can swallow two cocks at the same time because they go in on one fuck yeah, gills. Just right, piece, there. Right, right, right there. That's like, like that. a new body mod style. I think it's going to come in. Fuck gills. Oh, it's like people are just getting people like get gauged fuck gills, fuck gills like yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, can I get like my lower jaw gauged? Like crazy thing is, it's a, the fuck gills are definitely right there. The present. Yeah. Like oh, those are their ears. I'm like birds can't hear anything. They yeah. don't have They ears. go strictly off the of sight. I mean, this is what yeah. we were talking about with, like, why do you want to hear stuff? Yeah. I, I mean, but birds don't need it. Like, there's no, they don't have noses either, so there's no smell. They just, like, eat that, like, kind of randomly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They look at it, and they're like, oh, that has raisins. I'm kind of in the mood for raisins. So this guy's weird. Don't trust that fucking bird. No. He likes this, raisins. This is a raisin-eating bird. Yeah. Uh, that's actually in the bird community, being known as a raisin-eater is enough to lose you most jobs. Yeah. So I did... Look, um, look at him. That is, a, that is a hypocrite. That's a liar. Yeah. Seriously. Piece of shit. What a piece of shit. Oh, oh my fuck God. Ass. Fucking bird. Seriously. He's, just eat, he's only eating the raisins. I'm going to just go out there and just give him my wallet, because I know he's going to just try to rob me later. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no I, sense in trying to fight it. Yeah, you can't. You can't avoid it at this point. It's as good as happened. He knows I'm in here. He sees my car parked down front. Yeah, and he knows what that means. He knows that you're in here. He knows your bank account number already. Yeah, and he's also going to take my punch card at Cabo Bob's. That's awful. Yeah, I know. That's awful. It sucks. I think we've had two viewers so far. Wow. I don't know how many. Wow. I don't know how many more, but and I'm pretty sure it's our mom. <laughs> and, and and yeah. Uh, so I mean, they're that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, we've been thanks, talking guys. about birds sexually for some time. We've been talking about um, the sexual characteristics of birds. It's true. Yeah. So we're like the product of pretty much y'all. So yeah. Um, thanks for raising us to make videos. I'm sure you're so proud. Mm -hmm. You're watching this at home, and you're I, like, I'm, man, I'm, I'm very excited. Look that, at our sons. Uh, they're yeah. making like third grade jokes about birds. What are you talking about? The, the, he went to school for this. I did. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm just talking I'm, about I'm, our humor. Oh, it's our humor. Yeah. Okay, like, I, I see what you're saying. I don't think I can't speak saying, for I, I don't understand why you're being so humble. These are college level bird jokes. <laughs> this is master's degree level bird jokes. Uh, yeah. I, like, I've been on so many bird this trips. Like, I'm on, I've been on so many. I've been on bird watch. Yeah. I've been on bird time. I've been on Bird World. I've been on the Bird Circle. I've been on Bird Plays. I've been on every birding stream that there is. And I gotta say, this is the one with the highest level of discourse. Easily. 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 Not even yeah. not even a contest. So, you know. I think right there on the left there, mm -hmm. that is definitely one of those Ravenborn oh, doves. Oh yeah, Ravenborn Dove. Dove birthed from a raven. 
Uh, just like how the Beastmaster was born. Oh, I think it's uh, Joe's kind of covering oh, it. Oh, he's covering it Yeah, up. they like duck down Joe. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. It's a few live birth birds. There's no eggs involved. Okay, you, you can sit back there. Sex undetermined, right. Yeah. yeah. You can never tell. With that, that one right there, no. for sure. Like, they all are 18 weeks old. Yeah. All of them. They die at 19 weeks. They actually die when they get to one second over 18 weeks old. Yeah. And they come out of the <laughs> womb 18 weeks old. Mm -hmm. And then they just kind of stick around for a while, but they're it's only 18 weeks. Tragic life cycle. It's then they reincarnate into themselves again. It's true. They only have, there's actually only one soul. It's a little bit like the fungus girl from Resident Evil 7. Yeah. Yeah. Which is obviously a, a thing that I learned about when I was getting my master's degree, was the plot of Resident Evil. Yeah. 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 So we're getting on, uh, we're getting on two hours. Do you want to, do you want to pull the trigger on this, on this bird presentation? I think we should pull the trigger on the bird presentation. Um, it is about to be the end of the show, so. I mean, the sun's going down. These guys, they're the sun, getting bloated. The sun's going down. These guys they're, fucking ate, like, I mean, so many of them. Honestly, Look how it's leaning. Yeah, it's... Yeah. He's too heavy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we're going to need to call an ambulance to get that fat fuck out of there. So, you know, that that's going to be a whole scene. He's going to be complaining. He yeah. doesn't want help. He yeah. needs it, though. Bloodbath back at the nest. It's oh going to be a fucking... God. All you can eat, cock swallowing buffet. That's the thing about fat birds like that is they can just throw up forever into their kids' mouths. Yeah. Forever, so much. <laughs> Never ending. So much. It doesn't end. You want it? The kids want it, and they're like, "Dad, stop!" <laughs> <laughs> Falcor is gonna be there later. <laughs> Falcor shows up when anything is never ending. Yeah. It's so. True. Yeah, the birds have left, so we're going to get on with this presentation. All right, now... It's introduction to birds. I'm very excited for you guys to see this. As I said, I'm a doctor of birdology, and so we are going to be... Uh, we are going to be doing an exclusive introduction to birdology and, to a lesser extent, birdography uh, right here on the bird cave. So let's get, let's get going. Let's start. All right. This is exactly the kind of presentation you'd see, by the way, at an elite academic conference in Dublin, in yeah. Prague, in uh, Rome, yeah. you would be getting this exact same PowerPoint presentation, except there would be somebody next to me translating it into Italian. That's yeah. that's the quality that you're going to get. And you're getting this for free. Right. Um, for free, live, for free. here. Facebook and and live. This, we're going to keep this up. If you need to reference this back, you can play this back, you can w watch it, anything you miss. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you're, you're a teacher, and you're looking for some material, it's like you're tired of teaching that day, you yeah. want to roll the TV uh -huh. card in, you can roll that TV card in, put on this presentation. I'm going to do a way better job than you can. I'm not I'm not saying that with ego. Yeah. I'm just saying I have it's the just, documents. It's, we're not yeah. going to sugarcoat it. We're not going to sugarcoat it. You're bad at your job. Yeah. That's, why you're, that's why you're doing it this way. That's why you're wheeling the TV card in. You yeah. should basically just wear a shirt that says, I give up. Yeah. I give up. Throw but it. it's okay. It's okay. Because I'm going to do better for them. Yeah. Then you are capable of doing. I mean, just because you're the volleyball coach doesn't mean you can't teach physics. Yeah, right. it's true. The volleyball coach knows how to teach physics. They always do. They it's always, always the volleyball do. coach. Or what is like what, the, you, what is the volleyball? The football coach is doing like integrated physics and chemistry, and I'm like, how <laughs> how are you qualified for this? That's what that's who taught me at McAllen. I, I had a I had a I had a football coach who did not believe in evolution teach me biology. Yeah. Yeah. And the first thing he did when we got in was he said, this is all bullshit, but the state needs me to teach it to you, so I'm just going to go through the motions here. <laughs> he literally said that. That's a true story. That's yeah. not bullshit. See, Damn. that's like, it's not a matter of the budget being low. It's mm -hmm. just the freaking coaches keep taking your jobs. Mm -hmm. Why and are you letting the coaches take your because jobs? Because they outcompete you. They're stronger. They're faster. Yeah. yeah. They're they're more brutal than you are. They're in peak physical performance. They're in peak mm -hmm. physical condition. Coach yeah. Amaro was in peak physical form. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And he knew physics more than anybody because what is football? It's physics. It's You're physics. throwing balls. They're flying. You've got to know the angle and mm -hmm. the arch mm -hmm. and everything. So, like, they know 
They, they know physics. You still yeah, have a first hand experience. Slam a textbook on the floor, he's ready. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this Introduction to Birds okay. by Introdu Dr. Don Jolly. Thank you very much, Nathan. Okay, let's get going. Let's go to the first slide here. Um, okay, birds are the biggest mystery known to science. We don't understand them. What is a feather? We don't know. This? What is that? That's hair. That's normal. It's wiry. It's weird. Feathers are fucked up. Feathers have like a bone through them. They're flying around. I hit this bird with my car today, okay? Look at it. Yeah, it's yeah. bizarre. I don't get it. Let's go deeper into this mystery. Why are birds? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you expect to get through this presentation without me blowing your mind? This is bigger than what are birds. Why are birds? What are not birds? Okay, so we've got two, there's two halves of this. I want you to imagine a zone divided into red and black. Over here, why? Over here, what's not a bird? That's the question, that's the problem. That's the space that we're gonna be exploring. Uh, so let's go to the next slide here. Okay, not birds. This is what most people will tell you. This is not what I'm saying, but I'm quoting like probably what what you think. Not birds. Cats. Cats eat birds. How could it eat the same thing? That's cannibalism. Cats aren't birds. Dogs, four legs, no feathers. They 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 walk around. They're always smiling. Not birds. Birds can't smile. Beak. Yeah. Beak. Fish. It's swimming. It's swimming. Yeah. But whoa. Ducks swim. Pelicans swim. There are true fish. So and there are flying fish. So here, we, even by the end of this list, we're getting into a crazy situation. These are not birds. Lizards? Uh, ever heard of dinosaurs? They're actually birds. I, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So are cats and dogs really not birds? You don't feel so sure now, do you? Okay? You don't know yet. We're 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 in a we're in a problem. But don't worry. I'm taking your hand. We're going to guide you through it. Let's go to the next one. Do birds have dicks? This is what we've been waiting the whole stream for. We've been talking around it. We've been talking about, oh, oh, do birds have dicks? You wonder. You wonder, why do birds have dicks? What isn't a bird dick? Okay, now we've thrown enough questions at you. It's time for some answers. This is the anatomy of a bird. As you can see, there's a front right there. There's a back, there's feet, and there's feathers just kind of in the middle, like everywhere, going crazy. That's like that's what an ornithologist uh, ornithologist will tell you. But look at that diagram. Do you see the dick? No. no. I don't see. I see a poot. What is? Yeah, a poot? it says it's a poot, but it does. There's a rug. There's a neck. Poot. There's a culf. Right there. Poot. A cop. A voodoo hold. This is this is what ornithologists say. They, it's fucking baby talk. What? They're just like goo goo gaga. It's a, oh, it's a leg, a vote, a strut, vigil, a rug. What? It's like, what? It's like it makes no language sense. Or something to and so let's let's get. I think to they're just making this up. Let's get to something real. Here. I don't let's like what you said, and I'll just end like what? Yeah, none of it made sense. Well, that, that's what ornithologists say. <laughs> okay, but let me tell you what birdologists say. Because like, okay, how do you go about studying birds? Right. You you see the bird. Just like I see Joe right now, and I'm like, oh, round rock cock swallow. I am seeing the bird. Sound. What does the bird sound like? Right. The bird sounds like, oh, I need cock, oh. You hear it, you hear it. And then you know that the bird is there. Taste test, you taste test the bird feed. You taste it, that's how you know. That's what the bird's tasting. You taste what you eat what the bird eats. Yeah. And then you know it's real because you yeah. both eat the same thing. Yeah. Touch, this is actually, like a lot of people would say touch is the scientific method. You should touch the bird. I say no. You punch the bird. Yeah. You hit the bird. You hit the bird out of the air. You yeah. know why you do that? To show dominance. Yeah. yeah. To show dominance because the bird must fear you. Yeah. The bird must know fear. When That's they, my personal method. When they flap their wings, make themselves look big. You just punch them right. You in the just face punch them. You, you remind them. You punch them out. You take top them down. Of the food chain. Yeah. 
right in the breast. Okay, now I, this is to get into some of my researches in birdology. I have seen a lot of birds, but I also have not seen a lot of birds. Yeah. Birds are liars. Birds are hypocrites. Mm -hmm. When I see a lot of birds, this is the difference, by the way, between a person who's truly intelligent and a person who's just like maybe took an online IQ test and it says that they're, you know, ooh, you're so smart. Right. Yeah. Real intelligence, real education tells you how much you don't know. Yeah. So I actually, paradoxically, because of my insane level of achievement in the field of birdology, I am more conscious of the birds that I don't see mm. versus the birds that I do. Yeah. Every bird that I see, I'm like, oh, sure, I see it, I hear it, I'm pitting it. I'm punching it out of the air. Knocking it the fuck out. Knocking it the fuck out. <laughs> I do not let it mug me. No. The bird will try to mug me, and then I'm just like, boom, boom. You give them like that. You give them the one, two. One, two. But what about the birds that I don't see? You can't actually. I can't punch them. Where's the punch zone? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can punch wildly in every direction <clears throat> and hurt everyone around me. Right. But I'm still not going to see those birds. Yeah. No. Okay, so I want you to think about the birds that you don't see That's more than the birds that you do. What you should be thinking about. That's Absolutely. kind of fucking scary. That's a, a lot of yeah. what bird watching is is not so much about what bird is at my feeder, it's about what bird is not. What yeah. not. What, do you, what, do you, yeah. what, are, what are your unfulfilled bird desires? Or, more importantly, what bird is there that's not letting you see it? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they're sneaky. They're sneaky. And. Could you clarify, like, each of these bars represents... Okay, so, yeah. Uh, the first bar represents that I have seen 15 birds and not seen 5 birds for a total of 20 birds in that interaction. Okay. Okay, so when I say that interaction, a lot of people say, like, oh, is each one of these bars like a unit of time? Is it like every week? Whatever. No. It's like a feeling. <laughs> so that first, that first bar is I have seen 15 birds and I have not seen five birds in this kind of, it's a liminal zone in my own mind where I'm sort of between being like hungry and like a little bit pissed off, right. but like mm -hmm. pissed off in like the kind of way where when you're driving your car, you're having an argument with somebody that you haven't seen for 15 years, like in, like they said something to you, and now you're just like, you're a total piece of shit, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Like, but they're not there, and you're never gonna talk to them. And the argument that you're having stopped happening like 20 years ago, that's the birds that I've seen and not seen in that feeling. Okay. In that mood. That all makes sense now. Right, and so each one of those is a different feeling. So like, for example, the next bar, I've seen 25 birds, and I've not seen four birds for a total of 29 birds uh, in the feeling that you have when you're like a little stoned and driving back from a party late at night. Oh, okay. Right. So you notice that I saw way more birds because I'm stoned, right. which of course yeah. makes you more perceptive. Yeah. But I didn't see four birds. That This is one thing that this graph, like it's kind of the way that we visualize it, there's a problem. Those four birds that I saw uh, are actually the most important because those are the birds that uh, I hit with my car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the one at the beginning. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So normally people, when they subtract this, they wouldn't just add it? No. Like, you, uh, you, you got to keep track. Like, the birds that you don't see are actually, like, if, if, if anything, I would make the yellow part of that bigger more than the green part. Even though it's only four birds, it's way more important what you don't see than what you do. Yeah. Right. Seeing something, that's... That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Not seeing. That's yeah. that's what's like interesting. Like the questions you don't know to ask. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the question I just asked would be like some stupid orthodontist thing to say. No, I mean I don't think so because if you were an if you were an ornithologist, the way you would say that question is probably something like, oh, oh, but you saw a bird. Like that's how they talk. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So. Now let's talk about chicken or the egg. We all know this philosophical problem. What came first, chicken or the egg? Chicken? Me? Who knows? Things to consider. What are eggs? How do they fit all those eggs in tiny bodies? Do all eggs make birds? 
Clearly not. You go to the grocery store. Are those eggs making birds? Yeah, I eat bird eggs. Yeah, they're no, eggs. they're never going to be birds. They're from the grocery store, idiot. When I was a kid, I would take the eggs that we got from the grocery store and like sit on them for mm -hmm. a long time. They they, could, did like, it ever turn into a bird? Warm, warm it up, it could turn into a chicken. Did it? But no, it just got really stinky. Like, yeah, see? I mean, this is one of the things. They always tell you that birds come from eggs. There's literally never been any evidence that birds come from eggs. Yeah. I we know that eggs one. eggs come from birds. Yeah. But do birds come from eggs? <sighs> Anybody starts telling you that, then that's probably an ornithologist or a chicken farmer. Yeah. But they're all full of shit. And clearly they haven't seen a raven born doe. Yeah. It's true. And that's a, well and then also a Jesus speak. There's the Easter bunny. Jesus what are all speak? those yeah. yeah, all those eggs doing? What yeah. is he doing with all those eggs? Yeah. Where'd he get them? Where'd he get them? These are also, like, have you ever seen an Easter egg turn into a bird? No. No. Uh-uh. No. Easter eggs are plastic. Everyone knows eggs turn into rabbits. It's true. Yeah. Right. It is true. Yeah. Raven-born doves. Okay. Now, we've had a lot of fun, but we got to focus back on that big question. Okay. Let's go. Birds are pretty weird animals. Eggs are kind of gross. Like, look at the parts of the egg there. Yeah. There's a chakra. There's an exterior abdomen. There's an air vent. They have chakras? Yeah, chakra right on the in, outside. Like, yeah. perfect alignment? Um, usually they're kind of out of alignment. They're a little fucked up, which yeah. is why, like, an egg will never turn into a bird, ever. Right. Mm. That's why they, like, yeah. watch, like, watch Naruto all the time. So. Yeah, that's what they, that's all they do. Yeah. Pretty much. And the, and the sequel. Yeah. The sequel. Okay, let's go to the next slide here. So we're, I, I actually wanted to get back to this point. <coughs> Do birds have dicks? We're gonna find out together right now. And like I said, I'm finally gonna give you some answers. Yeah, they have a lot of different parts. They do. They have a lot of different parts. These are different names, but like that's another ornithologist thing. They, just they make keep making it up. it up. It's not even they the same shit. They just make it up. They yeah. called it a poot. Now it's a vent. Is it a vent or yeah. is it a poot? Is it a vent or know. is it a poot? It's we don't know. They don't know. They're just they're shining everybody on, and they're soaking up all the grant money. And they wonder why people don't believe science. Yeah, they're soaking up the grant money. Yeah. Um. So the first scientific equation that tried to answer whether birds have dicks is demonstrated over to the side. It's actually that, that measurement thing. Yeah. That's, that's how you would notate this equation in birdography. Yeah, birdography is the mathematical side of, of uh, birdology. Yeah, just like shoe size and ratio, mm -hmm. birds' dicks are usually like proportionate to, I don't know, is it the beak, the wingspan? Uh, beak and wingspan. It's yeah. beak, wingspan, and uh, toe length, actually. Okay, toe length. okay. Yeah. But, uh, ancient cultures actually believe this was the first bird, and for many years, uh, scientists believed they were wrong. But no, they're right. They're right. This was the first bird. That makes sense. They call it. He's his name is the Eurasian three-dicked swallow. <laughs> okay. And you'll That's notice extinct, the right? Or is it? They, or they no, still? no. They're they're actually everywhere. People oh. just don't. They don't notice them anymore, but anytime you hear that little jiggle, 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 that's it's, that's one of its dick bells. Uh, so this could be like one okay. of the birds you don't see. This is one of the birds you don't see. But I guarantee you, if you look out your window, there are at least three of these in your sight line right now. You just don't see them. You can't allow yourself to see them. You're too mentally weak yeah. to yeah. see them. Yeah. yeah. You don't, you can't even comprehend it. You can't, it. yeah. It's like a ship sailing to sea and you haven't seen one you, before. Yeah, if you haven't seen one it's, before, how are you going to know? You yeah. Know, yeah. You were born unprepared to see one. It, it's yeah. true. And and only with the most training can you even begin to see. I've never seen one of these. Yeah. And I am super overeducated. I owe the government so much fucking money in student loans. I've been, I've run these bird feeders streams all the time. Not yeah. one of these has shown up. But I guarantee you, I'm they've not, been out there eating from your feeders, coming everywhere, ringing their bells, and you just haven't seen them. It's yeah, probably, seen. Joe, it's probably we haven't filled them up with beans and weenies yet. If you put we beans and weenies in there, you're going to get one this of these. Is what comes beans beans and weenies. Weenies. This is what comes with beans and weenies. It comes with a lot of things, honestly. Yeah. Um, so we know the wing parts now, the different parts of the, of the wings. These are all in French, so I'm not going to say them. <laughs> but if you're curious, if you want some like trivia, this is, this is the parts of the wing. Yeah. Um, I don't know why you'd care about that because it's like you, you could also just like this whole diagram could just say feathers. Yeah. 
Because that's what it is. Yeah. It's what it is. Yeah, it's just a soft. bunch of feathers. Yeah. yeah. You just put stuff in French and it sounds like really... So it's probably a... What, now like this this is actually really yeah. Probably, yeah. 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 yeah don't even get me started on the ontologist <laughs> um, so science has been looking for the bird's ass for centuries but now we found a skeleton of a pigeon and we were able to identify its ass so you see its upper butt bone butt <coughs> bone and then there's where the dick should be but like I said there's also been a big question about whether birds have dicks. And we are going to answer it. We that. don't know yet. We no, we are going to answer it in this presentation. I'm not shining you on. Okay. Like, science hasn't proven it yet. Okay. These are drawings that I did while I was high. I just Is think they're just neat. <laughs> I think they're cool. Well, those, okay, those aren't even bird parts. That's just cool drawings. They're just, they're like cool designs. They're just like cool designs. Cool. Yeah, I want to put them on Etsy. Into like... Use. Yeah, see, these are this is like uh, some ideas for like if I was to make my own bird, this is like kind of uh, what I would do with it. Okay. Um, I think his name would probably be Shadow Luckman, yeah. mm. and uh, I've got some I've got some ideas for his story, but I don't want to say them on the stream because I don't want anybody on Deviant Art to swipe my ideas. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's a very big thing. These are these are drawings of what I imagined a bird dick would look like. Before you know, well, we'll 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 deal with that in a second. But these Wait, are, is, what is that? Is that what is? That looks a little bit like a bird dick. That yeah, was, could be a bird dick. That it seems like where be a bird it would dick. be is right yeah. in the right spot. Let's uh take a little closer look at that. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's looking a little clearer. Yeah. Can we zoom and enhance that, Joe? Yeah. 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 Oh, there it is. That's a bird dick. That, that is, is a bird dick. I could sworn that was like a talon or, or like something. like a Cheeto. No, it's... it's it needs uh, to trim its they Actually, else. bird dicks and Cheetos are made of the same material. That Weird. looks like the guys you'd see on, like, I don't know, Ricky Lake or something that yeah. grew really that long is, fingernails their whole life. That's a bird dick. You yeah. want to know why bird dicks are shaped that way? What? Birds are fucked up, dude. Yeah. They're fucked up. Yeah. They're so twisted, their dicks are twisted. Oh man. They're yeah. wrapped up, they're all curly cued out. They like a they're packing a curly fry down there. Yeah, they're, they're packing a curly fry. It seems like I guess if you're f mid flight you'd want to like twist in so that you're like locked. Yeah, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. You twist it in and then, you know, when they bring it out, they're usually like <laughs> Look at it, it's all twisted. <laughs> and you know the first What kind of bird dick is that? Um that is actually a uh that is a South China red breasted sparrow. Okay. I can tell by uh the orange coloration and also the fact that it's like it gives off like a really bad aura. Yeah. Like a bad vibe. Yeah, I feel yeah. like kinda of sick to my stomach. Yeah. Like it just feels it's just Gross in here right now. Yeah, I'm like, we, got, we should change the picture. I think. Uh, I'm getting really <laughs> squeamish. This is uh, this is my collection of bird skulls. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, this I I just I like to put the little the labels on them. Uh, I like to show this to uh, people that I have over at my apartment. I explain each one. This is really just like a little this is a little treat for you in the audience. I thought you'd want to see my collection okay. of birds. So it's like yeah. actually the end of the presentation. That's yeah. just... That's just it's just a little little treat. Thanks it's for cool showing party. us some birds. Yeah, a absolutely. I'm I need so to start glad collecting you, yeah. more. But like these guys are fast. I would try to go out there to kill them to get like, like their bird skulls. Cool. Yeah. But they're fast. They are so fast. Well, they say you collect 7,000 bird skulls, you will actually transit into Valhalla. You'll be there at the dining tables and... Uh, you know, ready yeah. to go. Wine, we mead, bird, skulls. We say yeah. it all the time, and it's so true. Yeah. It's so true. That was a great presentation, Don. Thanks for thank enlightening you. us. Uh, well, thank I you. think the viewers at home, everyone here, you know, that, sh you know, please like and subscribe and send us money. Smash that. Buy us a trip to Cabo. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we deserve it after giving you free knowledge from a Doctor of Birdology. The doctor of Birdology, yeah. yeah. And there was a little birdography thrown in there, too. Yeah. Now, the next time anybody asks you a question about birds, yeah. it's over. It's yeah. over. You can Bird answer it. Birdologist. Absolutely. Dude, make tax fraud to that subscribe button. Yeah. Just fucking... 
Act like it's a miso mimis and you're just punching it in the you're face. Just punching it in the face. Beat the shit out of the next bird you see. Assert the dominance. Get that bird feeder. You're gonna see a whole family of miso mimis, round rock cock swallows, Patagonia ball bags, the whole list. There's so many of them. Yeah. There's like seven. Seven birds. So there's at least like sevens of birds. Sevens, yeah. yeah. There's there's maybe maybe eight now. Probably yeah. eight. Probably eight. Could be nine. I, I guess me being a part round rock coxwall. You only count as a half. Half. You, you know, count as a half. I'm bird. a half. I'm yeah. a, like I'm a muggle bird. You're a muggle bird. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. What's a muggle? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, it seems like it's dead out there. I don't know if there. Yeah. No action on, on three, two, or one. Well, it's, it is getting weird. Yeah. I hear I hear the calls, but I don't see the action. So that noise you're hearing? Mm-hmm. You know what's happening. Yeah, I do. There's a lot of cops swallowing going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we should probably like, we don't we don't want to show the viewers at home something they're not prepared for. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, you don't want to see that. This isn't a porn site. This is not a porn site. This is Facebook. This is the most respected information source in the 21st century. So you can count on us for accurate information. About yeah. birds and Absolutely. everything else. Absolutely. Yeah. But if you come over here with that fake shit, you just yeah. turn back around. Just turn around. Yeah. Turn, turn around. Shit. Get out of here, ornithologist. Yeah, yeah. we're the dumbest. Get the fuck out of here. Oncologist, whatever you are. But, but if you've watched this whole time, you're crazy. Yeah. You cra like you should probably call somebody. Um, and <coughs> I think we're all. I mean, we're probably birded out. I'm a little um, birded out. Yeah. Pretty birded. I don't know if we can. Like, it's so exhausting. Like, it requires such concentration. You have, yeah, synapses firing, Plus, yeah, trying to keep. We gotta all get, this. we gotta get Joe down from the treehouse too. Yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's the air up there is very thin. I'll be honest. Or maybe we come up there and you just like give us a ride out of here. Oh yeah, yeah that's a I good idea. Come up that's here. A good idea. Yeah, yeah. You just I drive could, like, us home. Three like, sixty no scope. Uh, yeah, know. can you can you give us a ride home? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, let's Joe. Yeah. Okay. Let's do let's, that. Let's do that. Because all I gotta say is. The more you drink, drive a helicopter. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Oh, man. Woo. A little long day of bird activity. Yeah. Very this exciting. going to be a fun ride home. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Uh, this has been Bird Cave. Last call. Last call. And uh, we're about to fly out. Hell yeah. Call. Bird Cave, last call. Bird Cave, last call. Oh shit. Say, say bye. 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 bye everyone. Bye everybody. I'm still driving this thing. Bye. It, also, this thing costed like eight trill. Eight, eight trill, wow. That ad sense for twelve for twelve viewers goes a long way. It really does. Wow. Well, did, uh, is that Northwest Park? Yeah. I think so. The mountain in the background? Yeah, Northwest Park is known for I can see it from here. The mountains and the rivers. Well, uh, yeah. We're going to end the stream. Well, actually, I'm going to, we're going to end with the birds. They're not. The birds, birds don't, don't go anywhere. No, they don't. So, you want to keep watching. We're going to go, but... The birds will be here, and you can watch them. So, thanks for watching, Bird Cave. Um, and so, so, all the support, like, all seven of the support we got, also we have now can afford... Wait, so there's seven birds, and you have seven viewers? Coincidence? I don't think not. I've, I heard, like, a little bird on my shoulder <coughs> told me uh, that... Birds might not be real. I don't want to get into that. That's someone else's whole thing. That's yeah. That's that's. that's I just saw it on Dateline though. I I'm, I don't know like keep up with the conspiracies, but I, uh, or is it 60 Minutes? I don't know. One of those shows. It was on the news. Mm -hmm. It was on the news. Well, you gotta trust the news. I yeah. don't know. Maybe birds aren't real. Maybe I've wasted my life. It's possible. I mean, these look pretty good. They seem like they're eating. Yeah. I mean, but like, what what is a bird though? Those are cats. How do they have skulls? How do you get those if they're not real? Yeah. I mean, you, you can get an unreal skull for sure. They're only talking about birds 
that they see aren't being real. Yeah, they're not talking about the birds they don't see. Right, right. right. Solves the whole thing. Hey, you know this, uh... Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. They're hey. all right there. That's all right. He's just hopping on to the other one. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna leave this uh, stream going just like this. And if you want to stick around, check out the cardinal. All kinds of well, that wasn't a cardinal. That's <laughs> yeah, a, what? What? That's that's what an ornithologist would tell <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, they would they would have you believe that's a cardinal when we know that's a menstrual red bean. Like just look at it. It's yeah, red. It's obviously a menstrual red bean. Like why else would we call that? That's true. But. Yeah, we're, we're gonna baseball uh, team the menstrual red beans, <laughs> the Baltimore menstrual red beans, <laughs> the menstrual red beans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, birthday blast call, bro. Birthday blast call. Let's go. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we're gonna leave you on the three stream, and we're gonna get out of here. All right. Thanks for having me.
They just yeah. wander around and just share yeah. fun. I think that went really well, guys. <laughs> I think we're going to get this up soon. Yeah, we're going to get very serious. The other thing that's great is, like, when my dad died, I had, like, a regular big depression. I left here. I just left. Cut everything off. I didn't even make an instrument. But if anybody finds this, that they're going to be like, oh, my child died. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I guess I guess that's one way to do it.